This is how we be the sisters. You ask me to have eyes. They help we be. Why waffle? Hacker, hacker! This is how we be the sisters. You ask me to have eyes. They help we be. Why waffle? El horrible, horrible, El horrible and be dabble. Give them their props. Let me uh, add uh, the core dip. Hello, mama. I'm not gonna lie. I could watch Tuki all day long. Tuki's fantastic. <laughs> Tuki's amazing. I'm sorry. Could we talk Tuki a bit? I'm a Tuki guy. I'm a Tuki guy. Do you play with those breasts and like have fun with them? Ray, I haven't stopped playing with these breasts since I put them on. Oh my god. He's an idiot! Haka haka! I did text that to Shuli, Vince, and B Dabbler. That this and information. Who's that? <laughs> That's our replay. The following program is of adult nature and may be inappropriate for persons under the age of 18. The following program is a adult nature. May not be suitable for some of my friends. It's time for B Dabbler Live. On one second, I'm gonna remove you, Mitch. I mean, uh, uh, secret person. I don't know. I need a, I need a name. Match. His name's Match, sir. Oh, Match. Yes. Sorry, Matt. But uh, yes. Hello, everybody. This is a special be dabbling live on the road. I don't have any kind of special intro. Uh, this is a 16-year-old YouTube station broadcasting from an Airbnb in San Antonio, Texas. Yeehaw! <laughs> I am the great El Harible. How are you? I feel like we haven't talked in so long because we haven't. Not since did you the, want. Did what? you want that music bed still playing, sir? Uh, I mean, it wasn't gonna loop, right? Well, it was going a long time, and it was drowning you out, sir. All right, yeah, then end it. Thank you very much. That's Everyone always asks. <laughs> you see? You see? You're stupid minds. Stupid. Stupid. Everyone always asks, what does Cardiff Electric do? What does he do? He stinks. Those are the kind of things he does behind the screen. That person giggling is Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve is here. Cardiff is here. OJ is here. Hello. Everyone Hello. is here. Ooh, He's a fucking idiot. I am a fucking idiot. Let me see before we get to our special guest. Special guest, yes. hold on the line. I'm going to take a call just to see if our phones are working. You're, uh, you're attempting to take calls while you're hey. doing a road show. Like, really? You're, hey. you're asking for too much. Your mic barely works. You think calls are going to work today? Shut up. You shut up. All right, caller, go ahead. Am I the special guest? I didn't even know. I just called in. No, you're not. You're a caller. What's up? Oh, I thought I was a special guest. I got a special invite from Dr. Steve. Oh, who is this? You stink. This Tell us true. What. I'm about to hang up on you. I want you and Cardiff to do a standing 69 cartwheel. You don't have to ask. 
You know, you don't have to ask. We've been we've been practicing it for months. We can't nail it. We stink yeah, at it. We're waiting till. I'm not asking. I demand it. All right. Thank you. Goodbye. Why did you Murder. stay on hold for that? <laughs> <All right. laughs> And you needed to go to that call immediately. Right. At the start of the show. They couldn't wait. Hey, at Four least the phones are in. working. Let's get to this. Yes, I wanted to just confirm that the phones are working. Hello and welcome to Be Dabbling Live. This is where we're we're going to give a quick, uh, just more in-depth uh, wrap-up of Largo. I know that we did potato soup the other night, but you had so many people on, and then we did John stuff. Me? Yes, or whoever you are. Yeah, what? I don't remember you being there. I was there. <laughs> no, it, it was Tuki. It was oh, Tuki. Oh, shut the fuck. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but before we get to that, we do have a Stuttering John special report. This is a Stuttering John special report. Why did that not play? It did. It Spy played. Room. Okay, for me, it, it like didn't play. StreamYard does that. Cardiff, you set this up because I have no idea what is going on. Uh, well, earlier <clears throat> earlier today, a beloved chatter reached out and said, Mr. Cardiff, I'm in the Cape Coral area. What? And I'm hungry and thirsty. <laughs> Where no. should I go? Where should I go? Is there somewhere... <laughs> You can recommend. Yes, John's porch, because I'm sure there are tons of DoorDash things just lying on the porch. And I said, beloved Chatter, you should go to the Olive Garden. Because when I'm in Cape Coral, I go to the Olive Garden. He said, thanks, Cardiff. I'll go to Stevie Tomatoes instead. Whoa! So, so what I'm saying is I advised against him going there. But uh, he made a right turn with Stevie Tomatoes. We have... Uh, some insight. This is the this is the closest uh, to to John anyone has been. The the most recent close sighting of John. Spy report. Spy report. This is going to be amazing. We're going to get up to the minute, John. I'm so up excited. to the minute. So you, when you say insight, do you, do we have pictures? Perhaps. Perhaps. Perhaps we we might have a sample picture of stuttering John's fecal matter. What? Do you want to put that on your show? Holy what? shit. Dr. Steve, what can we do with that sample? What can that sample tell us? Well, you could do a fecal hemocult test to of see if course. there's... Yes, of course. There's a, for, for blood, there's a, uh, um, a tumor DNA test you can do on feces. You can look at the different cultures and see if there's pathogenic bacteria. Well, can we just look and see the worms? Yeah, or what well, he ate. If there are roundworms, by the way, don't Google image that. Don't Google image anal roundworms. Um, I'm just warning you, please. What? Don't do that. Yeah, don't, don't do, do that. Don't, don't Google image it. Don't, don't Google anal roundworms. Don't correct. Google anal roundworms. Don't do it. Yeah, Dr. Steve, I want you to see. Do you see the difference between the way he said and the way you said it? Because I, I I heard you even last week in your segment about not Google imaging something. Right, Fournier gangrene. Don't yes. Google image that either. Where what I'm saying is you don't need to use the word image. Just Google is enough. The oh, pictures will come up. I see. I'm making fun of you because you're old. Yes, I am a boomer. <laughs> Our duty truly is incredible. It can tell us so many things, Doctor. Yes, Steve. yeah, absolutely, it can. Can your tell you that. Can tell you if you have a tumor. It can do that. Yes, absolutely. That's what you and, were uh, before. That's you know, I had no idea. Fecal uh, flora is a very important thing. You know, it's, you can't separate uh, the. Don't do it. <laughs> Whoa. Don't do it. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because this was going to be part of my recap for Larga. Larga. Yeah, so we learned this past weekend, Cardiff and I and everyone else, that there's something called vaginal flora. Correct. I've been trying to use it in everyday sentences. <laughs> Cardiff, good. Cardiff keeps telling me, "Don't push it. Don't, don't, don't force, force it. Yes. Let it come naturally. It just happens, right? And now you're telling me there's a fecal flora. As Absolutely, well. there is intestinal flora. Now, can you tell it's us the flora <laughs> sisters? What, what is flora? It's all flora. She's a good. <laughs> <laughs> Flora are just, I mean, it's... Wasn't um, she the mom on Good Times? <laughs> that, that was... That was Florida. That was Florida, right? They, um, 
it's just a, a bacteria and yeast and uh, good bacteria and good yeast that cause uh, bread, um, you know, bread. Well, I, I do think, listen, a sign that our creator has a sense of humor is the fact that the same bacteria that causes a healthy vaginal secretion is the same bacteria that makes yogurt. Oh, you know, what it is, yeah. Lactobacillus. Oh, you make me sick. That's absolutely true. Pussy yogurt. All right. <laughs> There's a there's a a mind gut axis and you can't separate the two. So a healthy intestinal flora, then uh, you you know you it will improve your mood and all kinds of things. So what, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff you can tell from stool. So what 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 kind of food can you make with fecal flora? Stool. Um. Well, okay. You could conceivably oh, make. Yeah, don't good. answer that, Doctor Steve. <laughs> hey, wait, what were you gonna say? <laughs> there's good yeast. There's Saccharomyces in stool, and you can make beer and wine out of that. So you uh, know, that's you what know. you made your wine out of. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> All right, so we kind of so, got off topic, but okay, maybe, sorry. Of course, we're talking know. about uh, fecal flora because <laughs> we have, I guess, Fero. pictures of a toilet that John might have used that Steve and not a... flushed. Yes, and not flushed. Is that yeah. what? Allegedly. Oh, is that the tablet? <laughs> is that the tablet? <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, and if it's live? just the shit, would that also indicate not only did he not flush, but he didn't wipe? Mm. Uh, if it's I just don't a know. big I, pile I of shit. We'll, maybe I we'll can't see. wait to see this shit. Do you want me to do the razzle dazzle live? Oh, well, yeah, we can do that when we get the yeah, when you play the music. Okay, we do have dabbler gossip for a little later, but okay. Uh, uh, our super secret spy, are you there? How's it going, man? Wonderful. Oh, you I sound have sounds you, much better. You sound great. Yeah. You sound great. All right, yes. Yeah, so, so set this all up for us. So I entered into the heart of darkness to observe the dabbler. Oh, you're so brave. Oh, I really, I, my hat is off to you, good sir. When I entered the restaurant, the seat next to him was wide open. But I chose to observe and report. Yes. Kept no, a distance. Smart man. Very smart. Very smart. What did you observe? Please report to us. So, one, he is far shorter than I anticipated. Right? He's so tiny. He's like a little action figure. Like I tell people I'm five nine and I know I'm five seven. <laughs> no, <laughs> he just wasn't. Just Agreed. no. The next thing was there was a band playing or a guitarist. My decibel meter on my watch went off twice, and I could at points hear him talking over the guitar player that was amped. Whoa. So you're saying John had to be louder than the band to get everyone's attention to say, hey, celebrity is here. Stop. It, not only that, but he chose that center section of the bar rather than kind of like a alcove where most people would go to hang out with their friends. Did he walk in with those people or did he meet those people there? I, I got there after he did. Oh. So he was probably only there for half an hour while I was there. But in the first five minutes, he went through at least three to three beers isn't he gray doesn't he just have like a gray <laughs> filter to him a gray filter but with like a hint of soy sauce <laughs> yeah yes. great how, how many people were uh hanging out with him it looked like he he was holding court with two to three depending on the time and that probably 15 to 20 minutes that he was there, he probably got up three to four times. So he was where? a little animated. I don't know if there's a substance, Dr. Steve, that might cause that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. Uh, maybe it's just happiness. <laughs> where did he go when he got up? Uh, once he went to the bathroom, he went after I did. <gasps> and I didn't know if someone tipped him off that <gasps> maybe we were going to help decorate. Um, but when I, I went in to approach the first stall, oh no, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, wow. That is the door. Now we're looking at a door that has a Cardiff electric sticker. Tukey. 
Tukey sticker, a uh, to to poke a dabbler sticker, and then there's and, a sticker of a screenshot of John on his show with Richard Roper, and I believe there was something you wanted highlighted on that sticker. Yes, uh, I believe twelve people were watching him. Good. Oh, Great. during that though, in that segment, there were twelve people watching. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. This is on a bathroom door. Yes. So John alleged that the FKB was carved into one of these two doors. The rest of the bathroom was tile. So it had to be on one of these doors. It was not on this one. Um, I'm not sure if we want to show the picture of the next one. It was uh, destroyed by somebody. Uh oh. I, I, the picture that I ended up being brave enough to take was taken about 45 uh -oh. minutes later. Oh, no. So oh, I don't know how poop gets on top of the toilet paper. Maybe I've been using this piece of equipment <laughs> wrong. No. But generally, like, the toilet paper is on top. Uh, Dr. Steve, is that correct? <laughs> That's not correct. <laughs> I mean, I know it's correct that the toilet paper should be on top of the fecal <laughs> matter. Because that <laughs> implies that some of that was deposited after the toilet paper, which makes... No, no sense. sense. I, I don't see a bidet. If, if there were a bidet there, it would be okay. Go ahead. If I um, if if I see the person oh. coming out of the shitter, or I see the shit, I can't shit there. Right, right. It's impossible. For, I, I'm okay if the seat's warm, but I don't want to know who warmed it. I, uh, <laughs> you know what I hate is when you see something like that, and let's say it's all over the place. I, I have to clean it up because if I walk out and somebody else walks in, they're going to say, that guy's a nasty motherfucker. And so I can't let that be me. So I have to clean it up. So if people are shitting on the, you know, where it would look like I did it, I have to clean it up, which is a disgusting. Uh, well, luckily, I did not cross the threshold of the door. Correct. So I Good. could not be associated with said act. Well done. Now, now beloved caller, you're smarter yes. than me. Uh, are you saying none of the both the doors you inspected, all the doors you inspected, you did not see FKB and FSJ carved? I, I inspected door. the door with the stickers top to bottom. I did not do such a great job on the other door, uh, because I did not want a whiff of. Yeah. Yeah. What about the good the... news is it looks like someone has adequate fiber in their diet. What about the stall doors? Was it maybe on the stall door? No, they, these were self-enclosed bathrooms, like a woman's room. room. The oh, urinals were outside, and you had little closets to poop in. Ugh. Ugh. They definitely did poop. It's a they looks, bathroom. It looks very that, nice and clean, though. It's a very tastefully appointed bathroom. Um, It's going downhill. The, the doorknobs were such that they were starting to come apart from use. I don't know if they don't have screwdrivers in Florida, but clearly maintenance, it, it, it's going down in that place. Mm -hmm. Are there any glory holes that you can see? Well, it's funny that you should mention that. that <laughs> right next funny. to this place, if you'll notice, Cardiff, if you could show Exhibit D, the picture of the massage parlor. Oh, no! That is attached. No, that's around the that's, corner. That's the massage bar. Oh, wow. There's the oh, massage didn't me parlor. Didn't anyone in the massage bar? Hold on. <laughs> Connection shirts. I'd go there to get a massage. Their I thought this was the I thought this was the massage parlor, to be honest. No, or I always that, get jerked that off. Like a class one that Robert Kraft would go to. Is that John's bike? I no, don't believe so. They both look black. John also left with another man. So Ooh. I don't know if John's found happiness or just someone to drive him home. Wait, he rode on the back of another man's bike to get home? I am not sure how he got home. I thought he went out for a smoke. He seemed to disappear at the same time the guitarist stopped playing. <gasps> Thagala. I got him the gig at Stevie Tomatoes. He sucks my dick. John's riding bitch seat. I have to get home. This is great. It's that gay biker biker gang. Anything else to report from your experience with uh, Mighty Joe Young? Or whatever? Just it, 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 it's crappier than Vince has ever really described. The amount of trailer parks, uh, pawn oh, shops, yeah. 
where are you from? Why are you in uh, Crap Coral? I have some business in Tampa, so uh, I decided to you gotta screw take some, one for the team. Out of some homes on it's some Nick Swartzen canals. Oh, are you working with Nick Swartzen? Yes. Fantastic. Yes, I'm, I'm opening for him at the uh, Improv. Well, thank you very much. Uh, was there? Is that it? Was there anything else you wanted to add? I, I just want to say um, FKB, F, SJ. All right. You know, you, and you know what you get for that? Bye, uh, Brandon. 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 OJ, let me know how much you need to get him on your show. Tony. Tony, oh, yeah, Tony Chase. If anybody's wondering who he's oh. talking about. Yeah, I've been trying to get Tony Chase, but yeah, uh, he has not responded back, unfortunately. All right. Thanks, guys. No, thank, thank you. you. Beloved caller. Thank you, beloved uh, caller, for that spy report. We appreciate it. Oh, yeah. And we don't encourage people to spy on John or to leave negative reviews of Stevie Tomatoes. Don't harass Stevie Tomatoes, please, anybody. And, and we don't need any more pictures of John shit. No. No. Allegedly. Don't harass anybody. Observe and report was the correct thing to do. Okay. Observe and report. Which he did. He observed and reported. But we're not encouraging that. But if you do it, it's great if you give it to us first. <laughs> Didn't look like there was anyone there. John, I wonder if John is always like on guard and wondering if people are taking pictures. I mean, now I guess he would no, be. No. It, it looked like there were a, five or six people at the bar Thursday at Oh, really? I, walk. It just looked like John and his two friends. That's uh, all. But it looked like there were people in another room on the other side where they were, like the guitarist was and stuff. So. <laughs> and then sure a great restaurant. Who slapped? So wait, did our beloved caller slap all those stickers on that door? <laughs> no, no, they were there. They were oh, there okay. already. That's what he's saying. He's, of course, he was observing and reporting, not defacing not property. Defacing, correct. Defacing, fantastic. Yes. Well, that's fantastic. John is alive and well. Uh, thanks to another biker who let him ride, bitch. Yes. On the back of his bike, John got home. <laughs> that's the best <laughs> part of that story. <laughs> But then to think that John is, we talked about it a little bit last night, me and OJ, that, that John is going to go back to the house with this. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go back to the house with this guy. And within five minutes, he's going to be angry at John for something. And John just, oh, because I didn't have a lighter. He got angry at me. I'm like, you're already annoying somebody so much that they're angry at you. Like within the first, within minutes. But oh yeah. Is there a coral Cape Coral police blotter? Can we listen to it and see if there's some kind of domestic issue <laughs> by John's house or I, his friend's house? Carlos have, Danger would know. They don't have drinkable right water there. in Cape Coral. You think they have a police department with a website? <laughs> don't have drinkable water. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, they sure do. Under Broadcastify, Lee County, Florida, live audio feeds. Nice. Damn it. Why are you making yeah. me look silly, Doctor Steve? Is that what they are, Lee County? I th well, that's I put up Cape Coral, and that's what came up. But um, yeah, Cape Coral is uh, oh, <clears throat> for those that are interested, four fifty three point seven megahertz on your oh, FM dial. No one's, <laughs> no one's interested. <laughs> time and weather. Time and weather. No, he's that's a ham radio joke. Yeah, it's, like, oh. it's a scanner joke. But yeah, that's slightly out of the amateur radio uh, uh, allocation. Cardiff get that right but Sorry. anyway yeah so you can listen to uh, Cape Coral scanners <laughs> that's fantastic we're gonna I'm have gonna, I think oh. I'm gonna set that up on my live stream I radio turn that on on my live stream and just play and it just on my leave channel. it on just leave it on it's good. radio it's reference hit Carl com. or John some at some point there's gonna be a call to one of those houses right <laughs> and we're gonna want to hear it live at the Cardiff Electric YouTube channel I think I yeah. have a caller radioreference.com <laughs> Hey, I'm yeah. back. Hey, Thank what's you up? for bringing me back. Oh, you're the only one who's calling. What do you want? Nothing much. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Nothing. Do you think? Do you, <laughs> fuck you. Do you think John put his arms around the guy in front of him or put his hands behind his butt on the seat? No, of course he wrapped his arms around the guy in front of him. He's in the bitch seat. Of course he had to. He had to rub him. He had to all hold right, him ever right. so tightly. If you don't, if you don't wrap yourself around them, you'll never know no, what to mean. Yeah. What? Yeah, that's true. That's true. True. Uh, also, my dog had anal roundworms, and it looked like 
Angel yeah. hair pasta sticking out of a tightly wrapped clay ball. Well, that sounds delicious. OJ, do we have any angel hair pasta? Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Earl, we got any uh, round worms back there? I'm starving. <laughs> That's disgusting. Well, I'm. is your dog okay? Did your dog survive the anal round worms? <laughs> He's surviving it now. Oh, fantastic. All right. Anything else? Yeah. You guys are pretty funny. All right. Thank you. You stink. I, I hate it. you. I hate you. Goodbye. So right. mean to people. Haven't you lost enough fans lately? Please call in. Someone call in other than that guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Speaking of uh, crap coral, Dr. Steve Cardiff, we were in uh, Largo, Florida last week. And, no one uh, cares. Why, what do you mean no one cares? Cares. There's so many there. things that we have to talk about that Carl told us we can't talk about. Well, that's true. There well, no. no, I know. I know that it's been a while, but uh, no, I just wanted to say that uh, I really had uh, the time of my life uh, in Largo. And like I said, these things just keep getting better. I was glad. Time of my life. Shut up! Never felt this way before. I'm having a real moment here. I swear. No, I, so true. I hate him. I hate him. Why people say they hate you. He stinks. You're all right. You're all, invite me. You're all validated. He stinks. But uh, but yeah, no. This was uh actually the one uh trip that we got to actually like hang out a little bit. Yeah, having the having the uh, event on Friday night was fantastic because yeah. that gave us all day Saturday. I'm always, you know, I'm terrible at this and I'm not funny, and so I get stressed out having to go up there. And normally, I'll be stressed out all day Saturday because Carl will give us a our clips to do our assignment. And then, you know, I'll get Cardiff to help me write some lines. And then as soon as it's over, I, hey, I have, hey, don't blame me for your shit. Nah, fuck me. No, my best lines are Carter's. So I've, but I, uh, then, you know, and then I have to go to bed because I have to get up at four o'clock to hit a six o'clock plane. I, this was way better. Showed up Thursday night. Um, we did the event on Friday. We had all day Saturday to do lots of different things. And then uh, leisurely got out of there on uh, Sunday. So it was great. Uh, I really was very happy with the way that went. Yeah, it was great. We all hung out at uh, Hogan's Hangout or whatever his bar is. The food stinks. I wish you guys invited me. You were there. Wait. Yeah, you were there. Actually, Dr. Shh. Steve was invited, but Dr. Steve got out, got home, uh, in a little too late, I think, right? But well, yeah, no, my cab driver got mad at me because uh, I've, you guys, I've, I first told him to take me to the hotel. Then you guys texted me, hey, we're at Hogan's. Right. And he's like, that's a completely different part of town, my friend. And then I was speaking <laughs> Arabic to him and he said I sounded like an Israeli. Uh, Wait, with my Arabic? Arabic? My Arabic accent sounded Israeli to him. He got mad. He and was uh he, Dr. C was speaking like Czech to one of our Lyft drivers too. You speak, <laughs> you speak Arabic and Czech. What no, other? I'm a, I'm a micro polyglot. I know just enough to like, a, you know, Arabic, I'd say, uh, you know, and it means, uh, you know, a boy is a boy until he's a king or something, or even when he's a king. So, what, 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 Saudi Ara what Saudi Arabian markets did you learn to yell, a boy, a boy, a boy. <laughs> so anyway, so, and then, and then, so you guys said, well, okay, we're, he started going to Hogan's and then you were like, oh, wait, they're calling last call. Never mind. And so I said, ah, just take me back to the hotel. Right, but it was only like 1030 or something. Correct. Which then, it turned out was we were upstairs on the roof and they were just closing the upstairs. The bar, yeah. yeah right. but we took it as, oh, okay. They want us out of here. So that's why I told you, I think it's last call. So, but, and there so are some then, towns that are like that. Like there's they, some beach towns where, yeah, everything shuts yeah, down that is true. really early. So, but weird. then, so you guys said, well, come back anyway. And when I told him, Hey, can you, we change it yet again to uh, mm -hmm. Hogan's? He was like, no, I'm taking you to your hotel. So. Cut your fucking head off. You fucking white people. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, yeah. He was scared. You had something planned for him I at, don't know. at Hogan's. <laughs> Uh, I, yeah, really bad food. You're going to get him with food poisoning or something <laughs> suffer for a long time. But yeah, I can't stress enough. 
food stinks at Hogan's. Everything about <laughs> Hogan's fucking bar stinks. Did but you guys get any uh, memorabilia? Oh, no, yeah. well, that's what that's what I'm gonna explain. So we went to the to the hotel or not the hotel, the bar and restaurant, and there are some shirts there, but it was very underwhelming. And you're just like, what the fuck? Like this this place kind of sucks. Yeah. Cardiff then messages me and says, "Hey, did you go to Hogan's Beach Shop?" a couple of uh doors down and i was like holy shit no i did not so i grabbed vinnie paulino who i knew had yes. not known that we had to go to the beach shop because Vinny was in his, his glory Vinny's st- sitting around drinking margaritas with the fans he's like isn't this, this great i was like no it sucks here we're gonna go to the beach shop so we go to the beach shop and it is it's just a souvenir shop of all hogan shit and everything is signed and I think we asked, like, because the replica belts are the first thing that you can. Well, the first thing you get drawn to is all the lifelike Hogan statues. <laughs> there's one outside where he's like riding a skateboard almost. Then there's an NWO one outside. Or <laughs> yeah. You are one pathetic loser. Yeah, but we were. We, Vinny and I were uh, marking out big time. We we're looking at the belts. And literally, they have all different kinds of belts, NWO belts, WCW, NWA, WWE. And uh, we're like, hey, uh, you know, how much do the belts go for? And they're like, oh, anything anything signed like that literally starts at $500. Wow. <laughs> so we're like, Holy oh. shit. But Wasn't there like, some overly enthusiastic uh, guy there, or were you not there when he was there? Yes, uh, one of the times we went, we actually ended up, I ended up going back there like four times. I always ended up with another group that was like, hey, I want to go see Hogan shop. But yeah, there was a point when uh, we were in there with Carl, the fuck? and uh, there was a guy really, really excited because he saw a picture with Hogan and Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, and he was like, there, Jerry, there's those two guys, those, those two guys that lived across from us when we lived down in uh, water. He's like, those are those two guys. I seen them. But yeah, people were, uh, but it was literally like people were at like Graceland, like, you know, like they were like, oh, I made it. I finally made it. I'm here. <laughs> it was wow. like crazy. Yeah, people were really excited to be Well, there. no, what got me was the, uh, there's a sign at the bar at the, at the cash register and it had a whole bunch of frequently asked questions, right? Like stop asking the clerks all these questions. And, but one oh, of really? them was, yes, Hulk Hogan does come by the shop every once, <laughs> every once <laughs> in a while. And I'm just like. I just want to hang out here. I was, I was, pa- I was panicking when you guys went to Hogan's on the Saturday, and I didn't go. That, that would be the day Hulk Hogan showed up. Oh and no, I wasn't he, there. I missed he, Hulk Hogan walking in. The girl at the counter, because every time I was in that store, someone asked the woman at the counter, "Is Hogan coming by today?" And the answer <laughs> oh, was always like, "Maybe," but on Saturday, she was like, "No, he never comes by on the weekends." Yeah. So. There's a little uh, tip for you if you're trying to go see Hogan at uh, Hogan's Beach Shop. But, uh, yeah, it was crazy because, yeah, and I uh, at one point I had spilled ice cream on myself. So I was like, oh, let me go in Hogan's shop and buy a new T-shirt. And his T-shirt designs are such shit. I would rather wear a T-shirt covered in ice cream. Than I got one. <laughs> I bought one. Just got Hogan dabbing. What T-shirt did you get? I bought. I I got the yellow Hulkamania. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what I got. See, I had just bought my Hackamania shirt at Hackamania.com, so I don't really see the need to get a Hulkamania one. But no, I understand that. If I didn't have the Hackamania one, I probably would have gotten that. Um, I you did- might you might want to rethink that because now now Hulk Hogan's going to hear that he's losing money. Oh shit! He just heard that. Somebody's in somebody stole his copyright and is now he's now losing money from a cease and desist yes. to uh, hackamania.com. You're gonna be the Hulkster in court, court, brother. That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I did get, however, Tukey. A- just imagine a Hulk Hogan stuttering John joint class action against Tukey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the mega powers. <laughs> the mega stupid power i don't know uh but yes uh hulk hogan please come to hackamania uh i believe we could get you free vip passes i think that's about as much power as i hold you have, you have to pay for your own parking yes get your ticket get your tickets at hackamania.com so uh tukey did get a uh hulk hogan uh hulkamania yellow bandana and they also sold 
uh, fake Hulkster mustaches. How much do you think a bandana at the Hogan Beach Shop is, OJ? Oh, and 20, Dr. Steve. 20, oh, not signed, 20 bucks. May, signed, maybe 50. Not signed, not signed. 20 bucks. Dr. Steve? Yeah, I'm, I'm, if, I'm, I mean, what's that worth? $3? Right. I would guess $15. Okay, so yeah, the, I was willing to pay thirty dollars. It was only ten bucks, oh, so I you have to applaud Hulk Hogan yeah. on that pricing. Uh, if you can find something that's not autographed, uh, if you look at uh, if you look at the backstage, I've got a picture of Tukey with the Hulk mustache and the and the bandana. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, there he is with Lucy type box and the Executioner. <laughs> A monster. Oh, a monster. <laughs> Just trying to be like, I don't know why I, I was operating the other arm with Tuki, but for some reason I didn't think I was in the picture. Uh, like, oh. I thought it was Tuki in the picture. I was just, <laughs> I didn't oh, know. Because yeah. was... <laughs> that arm of Tuki is yours. I forgot about that. Yeah. No, but it's just like the monster standing we next to the pretty girl being like, I'm human too. <laughs> no, but just, just, before, just before this moment. Just before this moment, remember we were trying to we were trying to practice Tukey doing the Hulk oh, yeah, Hogan, yeah. Uh, right. the the ear, the hand to the ear, yeah. and the point. Like that's well, the original picture to that I took actually has, you know, Tukey's controller in it too, but I cropped him out. Oh no, I, I can see his bald spot in the mirror though. Oh yeah, <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh God, oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh no, leather. Uh, the card looks like Leatherface. <laughs> does he's a monster i'm soul patch i think someone zoomed in on the soul patch card <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh so uh so yeah so uh hulk hogan that night and I'm, i apologize to anyone i was not feeling well um thursday night and actually i do have a little bit of dabbler gossip aids Razzle Dazzle. It's Dabbler Gossip with El Harible. A little gossip, a little chat, a little idle talk of this and that. So, what particular Dabbler, what very handsome Dabbler, exceeded the weight limit on his belt? <laughs> <laughs> When he stood up from where he was sitting, talking to his friends, this now, beloved and handsome dabbler realized that his entire pants belt was undone, much like when John was wandering around Atlantic City looking for hookers. Now, now hold on. I want everyone to look at this picture before they answer this question. If, of these two, if you are given a choice <laughs> of these two, which one burst their belts? <laughs> which one would you think i don't OJ. know i mean the obvious guess would be uh would be you the giant it's the giant <laughs> i don't no. know what happened i got up and my belt was completely undone i was like what happened here and then everyone was like oh that fat piece of shit just busted his belt over. <laughs> i did i didn't do anything i was just sitting there and it literally ripped the buckle ripped oh, from the belt where were you at Hogan's thing, like I was oh, just at, outside. No, you were oh, just boy. excited. And ripped was, his belt off, like Hogan ripped his shirt off coming in. <laughs> did, did you buy a Hogan belt? No, that's the thing. They didn't have any Hogan belts. Oh wow! But uh, yeah, they had belts, just not the belts that would hold up your. Yeah, they had wrestling belts. Oh, jeans, five hundred bucks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that started out the meet and greet on Thursday night. Uh, was that I had busted my belt open, so I had to hold my pants up the whole rest of the night. It, it was like being there when one of your buddies actually breaks a chair. Yes, and on the already broken chair, and it just collapses. You know, it, it wasn't because they were too fat. But right. it, it was just that moment where but I just I drew attention to it because I got up and I was like. My belt is undone. And then everyone just looked at me and then I went, Oh, it broke. And then I, everyone called me fat and fatty belt breaker. And you could have just kept your mouth shut. Equator way. No one would have noticed. Oh, Kinky Logo is the worst. His words of hate. 
Oh, oh he's a hateful, no, hateful, spiteful person, that Kinky Loco. Glad he's not here tonight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I was uh, I was pretty I was feeling pretty shitty that night. And then the belt thing happened. So I was, I was actually feeling really skinny that day, too, because I was traveling so much. Uh, I hadn't really eaten a lot. Uh, thank you to um, Dylan the Red. Dylan the Red is a beloved listener and chatter who actually brought my hamburger from downstairs upstairs. I was actually done with it, but Dylan the Red saw my burger and he said, I'm not going to let anyone fuck with El Harible's burger and I'm going to make sure that he has this burger and then the burger proceeded to sit up there and I think people ashed in it and stuff but thank you Dylan the Red (laughs) for thinking of me I really appreciated that but I don't know maybe the burger was the reason I felt like shit but uh I I don't know if it's connected but I saw Dylan the Red jerking off on a burger in the elevator (laughs) I really could be be a coincidence that was a different burger I'm pretty Uh sure yeah, that was a different burger. He told he told me it was a different burger, but yes. Did he tell you about the burger he was jerking off in earlier? Yes, yes. Actually, he did. Uh, it was fantastic. Dylan the Red always hanging around where the burgers are and making sure that no one fucks with anyone else's burger. So thank you, Dylan the Red, for that. But yeah, met a lot of great people uh, that first night, and uh, I think that was it. And then, yeah, we did the show. Uh, it was awesome. The, the the actual theater where we did the show was awesome. Uh, I don't think I've ever performed on a stage that big or in a green room and dressing room that big before. I did and, once, like something bigger than that. But what? Like when I was in high school. It was a high school band thing. Like we were yeah. in this giant, it, you know, this giant auditorium and we had this huge, like it was where the orchestra would play and we played there once. Like it was. But I'm not comparing it to that. It was a bunch of parents in the crowd. It was nothing, but we just had the venue. Very nice. But yeah, no, that was the most professional. I mean, the Magic Bag was pretty cool in Detroit. Well, yeah. but that place Being was like, sold out and literally standing room only. Other than the, added the to the step ladder. Room. It was crazy. The step yeah, ladder, ladder. to the green room. Yeah. 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 Was, and they couldn't even get a good plastic step ladder. It was a broken plastic <laughs> step ladder. They could put down a. 12 foot high wall get to the stage the magic bags green room was about the size of the shower that was in the dressing room yeah of the green room <laughs> like wow it was it was gigantic and uh very cool and everyone there was uh super nice um we did uh i got a picture of the auditorium if you want to i mean you don't have to but... oh the empty auditorium why don't you just yeah. throw it in everyone's faces dr steve <laughs> take it from the front it looks there you go yeah, respectable sure. cleverly funny. taken photo at the right angle no i'm kidding but yes these are the pictures carl doesn't want you to see <laughs> no, these are the ones he okayed right oh well, well, that's after we'll come to that there's merch merch yep. merch 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 Merch. But uh, Mersh was a great guy. Royce was a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, I didn't know much about these guys except for uh, Porcelain's documentary on Mersh. And there's uh, uh, producer Chris. And look at how lovely Jenny Jingles is. Uh, it's, she's delightful. Yes, yeah, so, beautiful. She's she is delightful. She's Carl's mom. We get it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it. I didn't know. I didn't know the that's Mersh- just mom. <laughs> Yes, yeah, she makes him take nap. I didn't know the merch connection, Opie and Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah he used uh, to drive like Bobo around. He, he was, did. I think he did that once. Yeah. I, I that's sort of apocryphal that he was his his uh, driver. I I think you know it was one you of those things. One where, dick, Doctor Steve. Right, you suck know. one dick, and then you're a you know a dick sucker the rest of your life. And I think that's kind of what happened with Merch and Bobo. He's a no, but I'm I'm agreeing with the. Like, I mean, yes, you suck one dick, you're a dick sucker for the rest of your life. There's no arguing that. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I was taking it a different way. Like, you could, anyway. Um, yeah, I, I met Mersh back in the ONA days. He was always very nice. And I found him and Royce both to be quite delightful at this thing. They were awesome. And Royce can sing his fucking ass off. Yes, he can. And then there's uh, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph and Vincent. <laughs> Joey C with his cookie monster colored pajama suit. That which, was awesome. Which, by the way, this reminds me, the Tukey costume has arrived. 
I have not personally seen it. I was given uh, photos of it by my house sitter, and I have to say, I'm extremely fucking disappointed. <laughs> I thought I was going to get something cool, and I literally got a green version of Joey C's stupid <laughs> fucking velour track suit. <laughs> With a with the plastic with a bucket like, head with the plastic uh, old eighties Halloween costume mask. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Yes, the mask. Oh, it's all shit. It's all garbage. Oh, someone, someone, let, uh, someone said that uh, Joey looked like a Guido Smurf. <laughs> which I, I I totally agree with. He did. He um, had a blast. He did. They, they were look. They were fun. Yeah. And I really enjoyed meeting them. We were, by the way, uh, you know, you and I are big Brown and Fez fans. Yes. And uh, we were in Fez's backyard, you know, yes, we in, were. In the last few years we're spending Pinellas. And uh, in in Fez's honor, I wore my original Ron and Fez Obey Fez t-shirt that has never been worn before. It was the first time I ever wore it. Really? I had no idea. Yeah. Yep. Please give that to me in your will. Okay. You got it, man. You got it. Because you had the bootleg piece of shit one. Yes. I have a bootleg piece of shit one. Yes. I never owned an original one. But yes, we were in uh in uh Fez's old uh stomping grounds. Uh we did uh we actually got a recommendation from the Ron and Fez uh subreddit on where to eat on Saturday. And uh because Vinny and I we just wanted to try and do Ron and Fez stuff. We we're gonna yeah. try and figure out where Paul O uh Paul O's old house was. We we're trying to figure out if Gail was buried anywhere because we know Fez was cremated, which Fez did not want. But Fez died around COVID, so they cremated him, and uh, I think his sister has like all, most of his ashes or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, so uh, Vinny and I were looking to do any like kind of Ron and Fez related things. I think we passed by the original Hooters. That I, was I hate to get I hate to get too dark, but how long before you know Fez is on the shelf at some thrift store? No. What do you mean? Why like would... nobody wants to take care of the jar of Fez. Shut the hell up. Yeah, of course they, they want to take do. care of the Fez jar. That'll be passed down for generations. Shut I up. will take it. Give me the Fez jar. If anyone's sick of the Fez jar, I'll take it. I'll treat it very well. Feed it. Your mom will love that. Yes. Poor little Fezzy. Oh, but uh yeah, so uh, but yes, Joey C did have uh the time of his life. I think it was the next day. I was watching Joey Street's uh Joey C stream. He was just talking about how great it was to meet the fans and to be amongst his peers, like oh. all the other creators. By yeah. the way, maybe Joey fun. maybe now's the time to let Joey C know that uh that was me at the bar with you, Joey C. And you didn't even know it. Yep. Is that true? Yeah, yep. he bought he bought him a drink or something. Did yep. you really? You bought Joey C a drink and he, he had a massage on his shoulder. No idea. Oh wow. Okay, so can we say that a certain someone <laughs> razzle dazzle? No. <laughs> a certain someone was emailing Dr. Steve and I asking us when certain people were leaving the event, the after the meet and greet after event at the bar. <laughs> Cause they didn't want to uh be there, I guess, at the same time as these two people. <laughs> Who could it be? I wonder. Did he Paulino? No, it was you. No, never. <laughs> How dare you make such accusations? Besmirch my honor. I challenge you to a duel, fat man. But I also have a breaker of belts. I also have a dabbler gossip. <laughs> Someone saw Joey C and Carl. Oops, sorry. And Carl Hamburger. Go behind the bar building, and no one knows what they did, what was said, or what was swallowed <laughs> or snorted. When approached with this, Carl Hamburger said, oh, yeah, that definitely happened. <laughs> he did. He said, it. yes, yes, he did go around the building with Joey C, and they did disappear for a moment. Again, he did not give us any insight as to what actually happened when they went around the building. But that beloved chatter who uh, 
reported that dabbler gossip was absolutely correct. I did confirm with Carl. I said, Carl, we got some dabbler gossip that you and Joey C went behind the bar mysteriously together and no one knows why. And he said, yeah, that absolutely did happen. So thank you for that dabbler gossip. It's a great story. Love <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm only reporting. I'm only reporting what I hear. Listen, would you trust Joey C's Coke? No. No. What? <laughs> no. I don't know if I would trust Coke from that man. But yeah, Joey C was very excited to be there. Uh, Darth Nugs, thank you for gifting by uh, five B Dabbler Network memberships. Um, just had a real big smile on his face. He loved taking pictures with uh, everyone at the meet and greet. Mm-hmm. Mrs. C uh, definitely was trying to crush the shit out of my hand. When we shook each other's hands, but she was also a sweetheart. Yeah, she was sweet as she could be. Oh, what does that mean? Not that one, it's a southern thing. She, she was very it's the best she could do. Get That's her. what he's saying. No, she was awesome. She was very nice. She was very sweet. But uh, I do. Scary. There's always jokes about Joey C hitting Christina. It's definitely the other way around. Yeah, oh, she's yeah. his bodyguard for sure. Yeah, I'm telling you, like she squeezed the fucking shit out of my hand while telling me how what a big fan and how much they love me. I was like, okay, I get it. I get the message. Please stop. <laughs> I'll stop talking about your dead relatives. I promise. <laughs> um, but yeah, really great uh, to see them. Uh, Joey did not hang out for very long at the bar, I feel like. Uh, Joey C was making it very well known that he does not drink. So he was kind of like, he was was there for about an hour. I think we were talking about um, uh, Chicago baseball. Oh, were you? Yeah. Cause I, you know, I grew up going to Wrigley field and I'm so old back then. The, um, the announcer booth was just a, like a box right and it was slightly elevated it had an open back and jack brickhouse would be standing in there my brother and i'd have the wise guys with the air horns which is why they i think they finally you know put soundproofing in those booths eventually but i remember uh when i was a kid jack brickhouse turning around going you know just waving at me like that and uh joey and i bonded over the the cubbies so yeah. I love they used to fuck with the ra- old radio announcers at Wrigley Field. <laughs> That's the original troll. That's fantastic. <laughs> when are you writing a book? No. Nobody. <laughs> it's literally nobody wants it, it, it. I'm not going to write a book. So everyone's uh, secrets are safe with me. They will die with me. I'd have your book on my Just nice in case stand. anybody's worried about that, because I have files on a shitload of people in this universe. I think I took like three or four separate lifts with uh, Dr. Steve and Vinny. And uh, we always put Dr. Steve in the front uh, seat every time. And it was amazing. Dr. Steve would just strike up a conversation with every lift driver. And like I said, one of the guys was like from, what was he from? Like Bulgaria or something. And you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, we were, I spent we were comparing the difference between Bulgarian and Czech. Yeah. That guy wanted nothing to do with you, no, though. He did. No, he was yeah. interested. <laughs> but that didn't stop Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve just kept going and trying to get. I finally guy. broke him down a little bit. Yeah, but I hear that accent. It's like, hey, well, hello, my friend. And it's like, okay, well, where are you from? And he goes, Seminole. It's like, no, hey, come on. You're so fascinating. You're this is guy. just this is just like John with his I stand with Ukraine Uber drivers. <laughs> well, I see. Yeah, I see the correlation there. That was fantastic. Correlation doesn't equal causation, Dr. Steve. That's correct. Mm-hmm. But yeah, this was by far the biggest um, hangout after the show. Um, yeah, so we did the show. Uh, show went great. Uh, show was uh, going a little over time. Uh, we kind of knew that before we went on. Can uh, I say something, though? Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Poach. <laughs> But no, but just thinking of a hangout after a show, that's what I think makes the Carlson so cool for a place like this. Yes. Right? Because then everyone just filter out into the bar right there. Yeah. The magic bag, everyone had to leave. Here, everyone had to leave. Like, there's not, it wasn't a... But where Royce got up and picked out a place for us to go, and it just happened to be karaoke night, except I think they do karaoke every night there. And that turned into a really interesting evening. Yeah, it was great. 
because uh, Tukey did karaoke, um, Royce did karaoke, a couple, uh, Hannah and a couple other people did karaoke. So Jenny, I know Jenny did. Oh, Jenny t- tore the place apart. Mm-hmm. So, and the, you know, we had a a, a, a um, bartender, and we called her Rosie the Riveter because she just kind of looked like Rosie the Riveter. Yeah. And we saw her outside. Was that you and I, Rocco, were out there? Yeah. And she was smoking. I've never seen anybody smoke a cigarette that fast before because all these people descended on this place and they were just absolutely slammed. And she's smoking like this. And she looks at us and goes, who are you people? <laughs> like, yeah, she was like, what? Did you guys just flash mob us? Flash mobbed us. And, but they, they seemed to enjoy it. They, I mean, they made a ton of money that night. And uh, they did a, an incredible job. I remember the name of that place, but I would absolutely go. Niagara back. Tap. Niagara Tap. I, yeah. I drove by the next incredible. night. I drove by the next night, and there was a full stage set up in the parking lot. There was a cover band on stage, like full light show and pyro. Like it was, and there was like 300 people in the parking lot. Yeah, that's great. Oh, yeah, oh like, was there. Tuki was out there with the people. Yeah, because there had to have been at least like, I don't know over 50 or close you know close to like 75 people who followed us from the show right over to the bar because yeah, yeah we have that whole outside area and this seems like one of those places that it's the same every friday night it's the same right same group like regular you know, yeah we weren't exactly in a tourist town right in largo <laughs> we were kind of out of the way this is just all locals Friday I think night. The regulars probably enjoyed it because it was something different. I, yeah. I didn't see any annoyance. Pup, Matter of fact, they up. really seemed to like it. Right? Puppet 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 singing <laughs> Collective Soul and Royce, um, you know, singing what, you know, CeeLo Green and some weird guy oh, and, going and up and pe- filleting him. And, and look pesky. at the. <laughs> that was you. Oh, yeah, right. that was you. That was me. <laughs> was that me? This lady, was she with us or was she a regular? Because she has a horrified look on her face. Which this lady one? to the right of Tuki. Yeah, she's kind of tilting her head like an animal. Like <laughs> I think she yeah. was she looks shell shocked. <laughs> I think she, she was staring right at Mersh. She's like, no, I will <laughs> oh, not suck true. your dick. Stop <laughs> mouthing those words to me. Someone was asking about peacocks. We actually had peacocks outside of our Airbnb. There you go. I was say, oh, yeah, that's was that when you came and visited? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I was so. curious. I was like, yeah, how did you get the picture of the peacocks? Peacock, what? you don't even know what you said. What? Oh, Slide yeah. Peacock. Hold the pee. But yeah, we had a, I don't know. Are, are these Those so- are female peacocks, by the way, in case anybody was wondering. No, what? nobody was. <laughs> to look for their penises? I know. Yes, yes I, I sexed the peacocks. Are peacocks like native to Florida or something? Like, why would these peacocks just be wandering around? Are they? I think somebody just released them. I don't know because I, there was just those three, and I never saw any more. And they were all around that neighborhood. They're so, annoying too. They started making noise at like six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Well, Vinny does too. <laughs> yes, it could have been Vinny. I was next door. To, I was I was uh, in the room next to Vinny. So that is a hundred percent. You were in the bed next to Vinny. Come on. You guys shove those two doubles together and make a queen. Can you believe mm. it? I was the last one to show up at the house, and they left me with the smallest room right in the front. How dare they? <laughs> it was like the real world. Bastards. But no, thank you, Carl, for uh, allowing me to uh, hang out with you guys in your Airbnb. Oh, have you sent them your share yet? My what? Your share. That's the next no. Thing. Oh, you mean from the uh, the lo- the um, the for meet the, and greet? No, the for the Airbnb. Oh. Well, no, well, no. I still have to get him that, but he said he wanted a percentage from the super chats from the uh, meeting. Oh yes, yes, that for sure. I thought that's what you meant. No, but no, I haven't settled anything with him as far as that goes. But no, have you sent him the money that you have to pay him to stay at that Airbnb? Yes, I understand what you're saying. Okay, you do understand. Okay, I do understand what you're saying. I'm also saying that I owe him money. I owe him his share (laughs) from our streaming. Yes, of both both. Both and the gags we were going for yeah. stunk. Let's keep talking. We're about all shocked it. that you haven't paid yet. Yes. That's a better response. Thank you, Dr. Steve. <laughs> um, all right. So uh speaking of uh we were talking about the Tukey costume. Should I show everyone pictures of it? Yeah. 
Oh, oh you were actually sent oh, pictures. Yeah, here, let me uh, stop. Presenting. Wow. I'm so <laughs> pissed off. <laughs> I still think we could do something with it. I thought Not it was a steal. Do you want to say what we were going to do with it, or do you want to just keep that under wraps for now? Uh, just in case it works out. Because no, I mean, I'm still bringing it. I'm not returning it. It sounds like it's a bigger pain in the ass to try. Oh yeah, to you gotta pay. You'll probably have to pay forty dollars to ship it back. Back to China, yeah. right? China, and they'll uh, get it and say, "Oh, we never received it." Sorry, but people have asked, "Is it red?" <laughs> not red. <laughs> no, it is green. It it actually, is is it the right color green or? Nah. It's, it's close. It's, it's close. It's close. Doesn't matter. But yeah. wait, till you, wait till you see the. <laughs> I got I laughed, I laughed out loud when I saw it. I felt so bad for you, but it still was, you know, the schadenfreude. Of it. Oh, that looks great. That's no, amazing. That. Yeah. Good so for you. Is, That's going to be awesome. So this yeah. is what I was anticipating on getting. Now, listen, <laughs> I understand it's, you know, it's still like a piece of shit thing, but it at least looks. No, it looks like yeah, it looks right. It looks like an actual, like, you know, Disney costume. It's furry. Times Square work. costume. Right. It looks like a Times Square costume, right? right. So uh, my house sitter tells me, hey, you got a big box. I think this might be the thing you've been looking for. And I said, yes, open that shit up and take a picture because I got to see what I paid <laughs> $190 for. <laughs> American dollars? Yes, American dollars, not Minnesota dollars. And uh, I could not believe. Well, I actually could believe because this is my life. Uh, this is. <laughs> what, I hope you leave a nasty review. This is what he sent me a picture of. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the head doesn't. <laughs> this, this, this looks like Joey C's outfit. Like it does. <laughs> His pajama suit, right? <laughs> wow. Look at the feet. Look at the feet. <laughs> Nothing about this is hairy. It's all like no. four. It's like our kids. Gloves. Let's like see the head again. You got a good close up of it. <laughs> I, I, I tried to get him to uh, send me another picture. He did send me one wow. picture of the head. Um, because I, I want him to uh I want him to send me <laughs> Like the eyes permanently, permanently indented, like on, you know, see how it's like, <laughs> I was like, can you pull the eyes up so I can see what it looks like a little better, but I haven't gotten a picture. And he was like, no, they yeah. won't go. I'm, 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 I'm calling shenanigans on you. <sighs> what are you calling mean? shenanigans? You should have just went with this. You should have just kept it secret and showed up with this. Hackamania. <laughs> just owned it. <laughs> But you had a good idea that maybe we can use this as a base and actually I can like modify it because I know I can get some furry uh, material and I think I might modify it. Like I'll use this as a base and uh, but yeah, just the nose pin, is just, huge. Just safety pin fur all over. Yes. Oh yeah, I guess that's what I'm going to have to do. <laughs> wow. uh, but yeah, it also looks kind of small. Like I have to say, um, I'm not sure. Like I said, I, I haven't been able to uh, actually see it. I'll see it in a couple of days, but I don't know. Something about it looks kind of small to me. How disappointing. Let me put this up there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm so excited for this thing. Let's see the ad again. I just want to. <laughs> it's so not anything like that. Oh, it looks so bad. I mean, I think you got to at least do one show dressed up in that thing well yeah i mean oh it's still coming to vegas and we're gonna put someone special in it no i'm saying a live stream that would have been yes that would have been decent yeah like that's what i said for for like 200 bucks that's totally worth it the thing i got is like 30 bucks maybe <laughs> 30 I, I do want to say I'm very happy that I, I was going to order this exact same suit. Sure you are happy. I know you're one of the, you're the first person I think who sent me this thing. I know. I was like, I was going to get this for Detroit. I was going to show up as giant Tukey. And I'm so glad I didn't waste the money. <laughs> Bursting at the seams. Oh. Like, 
I they they I, called me back. I did order it. They called me back. They said they didn't have enough fabric to make it. So I knew I was gonna get <laughs> screwed over, and I'm still hurt. I don't know why. <laughs> like I knew I was gonna be shit, and I'm still like shocked. Like, but anyway, uh, yeah. So that's that's uh, on the bright side. Tuki costume update. It is at my house. When you're ordering from AliExpress and places like that, one out of every two orders you place is gonna be fucked up. Never. So now you know the next one's good. Never again. I'll never order for that fucking shit. I wouldn't have been shocked if I found out my Tuki costume was on that cargo ship that hit the bridge. <laughs> Fuck awesome. that place. I'm never ordering from AliExpress ever again. I feel like my $200 went to go fund some terroristic attack. Or, uh, I don't know. The next weather balloon that comes from China is funded by your Tuki suit. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Uh wow. oh, and- do some super chats. Yes, let's do everyone's favorite part of the show where Dr. Steve reads the super chats. Oh, do I? Okay. <laughs> JNC Stat Daddy, $2. Thanks. Are there also ball washing dick riders here? Yes. I yes, will wash anyone's so. balls, especially Melton's. Last sled, 1899. Thanks for the $5. Where's the suit? It's not fair if only you get to be disappointed. I want to be disappointed too. There it is. You yeah. saw it. Now we can all be disappointed. We're all disappointed. Just like when my kids don't turn out to be gay. I'm going to be so disappointed. Of course. Radish. Thanks for the two euros. I love y'all. I'm going to sleep now sometime. Thank yeah, you, Radish. Radish. Three in let the morning. Me, let me take this caller because this person's been on hold for 36 minutes. Oh. Why have you been on hold for 36 minutes? Hey, Chuki, it's me, Purple. How you been, man? Oh, Purple. Hey. I'm sorry. I wish I knew it was you. I didn't even look at my phone. I'm sorry to keep you on hold that whole time. No, so good. I'm on wait. I'm just listening on the show. Um, when you were talking about the Largo trip, dude, Hogan's bar fucking sucks. Oh, <laughs> it stinks. It's <laughs> underwhelming. Everything about it. The food stinks. But just seeing Vinnie Paulino in all his glory, uh, just smiling like a little kid going to Chuck E. Cheese for the first time was worth. There's no way we could have done that mean grid anywhere else. Like it had to yeah, be there. No. It had to be there. And purple looked like a million bucks. The only good thing about that. Oh, thank you, Doctor Steve. The only good thing about that bar is that I got to see all my favorite internet retards all in one place. But the service fucking sucked. The drinks were terrible. The food. I got an undercooked hamburger. Yes. And it was. God. My burger was way too big God. for the bun. Like it was gigantic. Like it was a gigantic yeah. burger <laughs> on like a slider bun. It was very odd. I've never had that happen. Normally it's the other way around. We wrapped your meat with 24 inch pythons, brother. Yeah, it was very <laughs> odd. And then there was a group of guys who were singing the Oasis meat. songs all night. Oh, I thought that was part of our group. All. God fucking damn it. They were not part of our group. What? No. They were like Levy fans or something. Doesn't he always talk about that stupid song? Oh, maybe. I don't think so, though. Oh, well, if they were our fans, then they were no, great. I but I don't think they were. <laughs> what else, Purple? Did it, Was there anything else you wanted to add about the weekend? Um, well, the trip was really fun. Um, I mentioned to you before, but I'm staying with uh, Hannah and Cole um, at their Airbnb. It was really fun. I brought pizzas along. Um, Hannah had a ball with her. Um, we cat. went to a bunch of nature preserves. You know, yeah, I tried to put her on the mic, but she's being a little bit quiet. Um, the show was amazing. It was like a legit like theater venue. My only complaint about the show were the fucking stage lights. They were shining everywhere my the seat that i was sitting in specifically every like 15 seconds a light would just come down and blind me for a little bit and i noticed it took out a few of the cameras that carl had set up they're like one of the cameras was just completely whitewashed it was actually yeah, Tuki in the back playing with the lights it's like what does this switch do yeah, it's good. <laughs> if you uh I talk, I talk if you want to illustrate that i brought i brought one of those well, no. pictures up so that people can see what he's talking about Oh, so, yeah, they were shining lights into the audience, which looks cool, oh, except if it's shining right in your eyes. So that's, but anyway, sorry, purple. Yeah, because we were watching oh, the. Yeah. No, this is... Go ahead, purple. 
I'm learning to not interrupt. Oh, I was going to say, I was, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, there's like a five second delay. I guess the connection's kind of choppy. But what I was going to say was, yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Got tossed out. What about the guy who got tossed out? I talked to him. Well, it wasn't really a conversation. I I greeted the guy who was blacked out drunk. He was he was like incomprehensible by the time I met him. He was just like slumped over, sitting on like on the stool, surrounded by four cops. I'm like, what the fuck do you do, bro? I know, and I think it's bullshit that Carl texts the Largo police while he was on stage to come get this guy. I think that was very unprofessional yeah. of you, Carl. The if narc. you're going to do a show that makes fun of other people's shows, you have to deal with the hecklers, Carl. You created this. And if you want it to stop, then you can just I'll, stop doing everything. Hypocrite. Yeah. I was four feet. I was four feet away from Carl on the stage. I saw the signal. He itched his nose twice and the cops swarmed him. We all Save. saw it. We all saw a very, very big we police all... presence in Largo. Obviously, that was because of the haters and the trolls. And uh, Carl was not going to put up with any nonsense. So he requested a lot of police to uh, be at the event. Purple, it was great to see you as always. I'll it see was. you the next one. Will you be at Hackamania? Yep. Yeah. I am going to be at Hackamania. I haven't bought my ticket yet because I'm waiting for my PTO to. Um get signed off on as soon as it does i'm there brother and tickets and have come down if you want me to if you if you want me to i will wear the tukey suit oh <sighs> that is fantastic i might take you up on that i know there is someone else who has asked me and i i have given them priority but if they uh cannot uh fulfill their duties like uh, Miss America, you will be the next in line, Purple. Don't worry. I'll, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll be wearing the fucking suit. <laughs> All right. Bye, buddy. Thanks for calling. Good to see you. All right. Bye. You guys take care. Skull. Skull. Oh. oh, now we have other people calling in. Let's take some more calls. Uh, you are on the air with Dr. Steve. Hey, it's, oh, hey, it's Red. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, so now that we know that John is a gay guy, uh, yes. can we get an updated version of Shit on the Sheets? Shit on the Sheets? Uh, yes, we do know John is gay. Are you referring to the fact that John left the bar tonight riding on the back of another man's motorcycle with his arms wrapped ever so tightly yeah. around that man? Allegedly. I know. I mean, knowing Allegedly. the amount of, well, no. Well, actually, it's a good time I want to ask Dr. Steve, if you have, like, hemorrhoids like John, and you have, if you decide to, you know, have anal sex with a hemorrhoid that apparently bursts blood at, uh, frequently, uh, what is that a problem? Great question. Yeah, it's a great question. Let's uh, speak hypothetically, of course. I don't know anything about anyone in particular and what what sort of varicosities they have in their rectum. Ew. But if you did have a uh, hemorrhoid, uh, particularly an external thrombosed hemorrhoid, this is a varicose vein in the ass that fills up with blood and then clots. Very painful. And, and extremely painful. So that would preclude anal sex but if you just have a regular bleeding hemorrhoid then yes uh having um you know anal sex at that point would uh you know would be problematic there'd be blood on the sheets along with all the other effluvium that comes from the uh, rectum and the colon so mm, that's why i come here thank that's you. right thank you very much Red. <laughs> take it easy buddy Who thank you thought? thank you for the question all this time, we thought Susanna probably left John because he's a shitty father, shitty husband, smelled shitty. All, all, all the usual reasons we all thought. But really, it was because he was he was stepping out on her with dudes. Yes. Allegedly. <laughs> she was tired of playing second fiddle to cock. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air with Dr. Steve. <laughs> oh, God. Rocco. Yo. Rocco. Yes. Hey, man, you can you can pray the gay away, man. No, I cannot. What do you mean? You can, 
He cursed me with gay kids. How can I pray it away? No. You can pray it away, man. All right. I'll try. I, I, but I don't know if my kids are gay yet. Do I have to wait until Well, if gay? it happens, I just want to... Why don't you check? Or do I have to, I don't know. Do I have to cut it off at the pass? Can I pray? <laughs> Why so don't you check? <laughs> I don't know that one, man. You could be gaying right now. <laughs> Thank you for your call. <laughs> Go check. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, caller, you're on the air with Dr. Steve. Cardiff. <laughs> And OJ. Hey, what's happening, party people? How y'all doing tonight? Good. How are you? Is this Jared? Subway? Yeah, this is Chris, dude. Oh, what's happening, Chris? Oh, not much. Listen, I wanted to find out if you guys ever had any plans on coming down south. I mean, we got some casinos down here, too, like uh, maybe Biloxi or New Orleans. Y'all ever consider that? Uh, you know, Florida's more south than Mississippi, right? I know what he means. No. Well, <laughs> we were south. Mm. Where were you? <laughs> I, I heard some people uh, throw. I'm from the south. We don't consider Florida to be a southern state. I'm sorry. I don't understand any of that right, south right. stuff. Um, I did hear someone throw around the idea of New Orleans, possibly <laughs> down the road, but not anytime soon. I think way down the road. But yeah, I think New Orleans would be awesome. I did hear that city be brought up. I will let you know that. But other other than that, no. Uh, I'd love to go there, by the way. I've never mm -hmm. ever been there. That I would be live sure, there. dude. That would give y'all a perfect excuse to party. That would. But uh, don't get Especially if they're a Mardi Gras. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. No, uh, we can, that we could not do. No, no. We could not do. Like, <laughs> no. Because that is spring bad. break and Fargo is bad enough. Yeah. Spring break <laughs> fucked us over enough. I'm sure Mardi Gras would fuck us over yeah. uh, just as much. But, uh, yeah, uh, I know New Orleans is in the uh, in the magic hat, if you will. But, I heard uh, New Orleans is sinking. Yes. And I don't want to swim. Of course. <laughs> no, dude. No, I mean, we can't. I'm sorry. I've already hit the button. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to go meet that guy, though. That guy sounds like it'd be fun. Yes, Chris. Uh, you're on the air. What? What? You called me back for what? I didn't call you. Hey, first time, long time. No, <laughs> okay, yeah, before. whatever. You're the same guy from before who called in two times in a row. What do you want? <laughs> Hey, I want to throw my hat in the ring to jerk off in on or while wearing the Tuki suit. Okay, you'll be the second understudy to the first understudy. Okay? Are you going to even be at Hackamania? Well, can we have a competition? Let's have a competition for it. No. You guys want to get Carl's gay bits? Goodbye. Yes. Carl, stop sending your homosexual soldiers to ruin my show. Uh, Big Black, you're on the air. Ah uh, yes, hello. Oh no, that's not Big Black. It was <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Yes, Big, uh, yes. big Black. Yes, yes hello, uh, Doctor Steve. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, Doctor Steve. I'm a freelance proctologist, and I was just wondering, uh, from one <laughs> professional to another, what's big? your favorite part of the anus? Oh, well, that would be the um, midline of the prostate. Did you say the recreational proctologist? <laughs> yes, he's. You know, I'm a practicing physician. Someday I'll stop practicing and get it right. He said a freelance. <laughs> he's freelance, not, freelance. not recreational. Not. He's an <laughs> avocational proctologist. <laughs> uh, yes, Doctor Steve. I do prefer the prostate myself, but I, well, I mean, the, I like the midline rafe where the uh, two lobes join. Not a real question, Doctor Steve. <laughs> what, Doctor Steve? What does the what does that taste like? <laughs> well, phone, uh, Dr. Steve, now listen. And back in the day, doctors did taste urine to see if someone was diabetic. What? Yep, and uh, that's where the name comes from. Well, diabetes, diabetes mellitus, or diabetes mellitus, means that uh, the person is uh, urinating excessively and it tastes like honey. And then there's diabetes Yummy. insipidus. That's the people with a brain tumor. They were bleed or they were uh, voiding their bladders like crazy, but the uh, urine tasted insipid. And this is why 
doctors were the ones who invented urine dipstick, so we didn't have to taste urine anymore. And that's your fun fact for the day. You're welcome. Oh my God. It's amazing that doctors back in those days didn't make all the money that doctors today make. I know. I know. They have to drink piss. So right. ideally, we could taste our own piss and know if we have diabetes. Yeah. Oh, no, absolutely. We did it on Opie and Anthony once. We had uh, Pat from Munaki, and right. uh, he had uncontrolled diabetes. We had Big A, who just had, at that time, kind of just gross urine. And then we had P.A. John, who was a type 1 diabetic, but he was well-controlled. And I brought this guy up there named Double Vasectomy Todd, and he was willing to try it. And he, he tasted each one of them, and he correctly identified Big A's urine, P.A. John's urine, and uh, Pat from Minaki's urine, just by tasting it. We learned so much from our PB and cocky. It's in- incredible. Mm-hmm. And we're learning it all here on Bedavalin Live. This is fantastic. Correct. It's a very educational show. Disgusting. <laughs> very educational and very disgusting. Uh, I guess we should uh, catch up on everyone's favorite part of the show, yeah. Super Chats. And I enjoyed listening to Dr. Steve read that. I don't mean to put you to work, but... No, I mean, why don't you put me to work? Skinny Tooth John became a YouTube member. Thank you, sir. Or ma'am. ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> Skinny Tooth. Red473, thanks for the four ninety nine, Dr. Steve, here to give the WATP wrap-up show prostate exams. Mm-hmm. P.S. Everyone send straight kid stuff out to children of all ages. By the way, that was, everyone was talking about straight kid stuff. Uh, that was really. I heard it. It was amazing. Okay. All right. All right. Right. We're, We're doing a geniuses. fucking wrap-up. Eat my ass. Right. I do. I'm so Skinny glad. Tooth John gifted 10 million. Hold, hold on thank no. you skinny tooth I, thank I i have to i have to cop to something here yeah i've i've probably watched it 40 times since we've made <laughs> it's awesome and it's i brilliant. do i do have to say uh yes we got a lot of praise for the straight kid stuff and i just have to thank my good buddy me for thinking <laughs> about uh this and uh thinking about everything i wrote the entire thing it was all my idea I am the brainchild of everything we do. No, of course that is wrong. Everything was my good buddy, Cardiff Electric. No. Cardiff Electric came up with the idea. Cardiff the Electric wrote uh, things for Tukey to say, and uh, it was really great. You really uh, nailed it, dude. I know. I'm Absolutely. amazing. But, but you're, uh, you came up with this sh- uh, calling Annie confused for shooting Oh, well, vertically. Well. That would that twist though has been growing on me so much. I love that fucking part now. I didn't even realize I was doing it at the time, but then I was talking to that. Andy uh, about this uh, today. That uh, it's still in my head of Rocco yelling, uh, t- telling everyone to shoot landscape and not portrait mode. Yeah, that twist. That was, that, her being confused about how to shoot video was fucking brilliant. That's pretty funny. Thank you. But yes, uh, obviously we both uh, contributed to it, but uh, that was really like I did all the editing. We wouldn't have done anything if it was up to me. Like you were the one who was like, I have this idea. We should totally do this. And I was like, all right, let's do it. Even after we did it, I was like, I don't know if it was funny, but we'll see what happens. And then once we put it together, it was uh, it was fucking hilarious. You put it together pretty quickly, right? Oh, God. Yeah, we recorded it like. God, we didn't give ourselves much time at all, but yeah, yeah we yeah. we gave it to him the day before I think we left. Yeah, we see, yeah, because we you have to add audio to it, and and we like we really didn't have a lot of time to put it together. But yeah, even when we sent it to Carl, I was like, yeah, I don't know, this is gonna this could this could be a flop. <laughs> this could be yeah. nothing. I was like, he's gonna play it either way because he either thinks it's funny or he thinks or it's really make fun stupid, of us, yeah. and he's gonna make fun of us. Yeah, right. But uh, yeah, everyone. Uh, really liked it and uh yeah i had i had a, a ball doing it and uh good job yeah, i'm impressed my my video element took me two months to do so that's you know you guys threw that thing together in a day and it was and it was the hit of the whole show and shout out so uh joe allen black with the art but shout out to annie for sure annie was a good egg yeah. and it was great to meet in uh in largo yes uh, thank you annie for doing that for us thank you kc and thank you, Carl, for being a part of uh, Straight Kid stuff. And oh, yeah, yeah, those guys too. Annie, uh, great to meet you. Annie and, and the other two guys. Annie and the other <laughs> two guys. 
Yeah, Annie, love you, Annie, Annie did great. Yeah, Annie was awesome. Yeah, she, and she did some improv in there. She threw some, she threw some stuff in there that uh, that definitely enhanced it. So, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, she so, was fun. I, I honestly pitched Annie like, you remember how Robin was on Stern, uh, only because Howard wanted to say stuff about black people, so we needed a black person. Yes, <laughs> like Annie, can we, uh, Annie can we exploit Robin. you, please? But no, she was awesome. So thank you, thank you, thank you. She was, and. Uh... <laughs> A little behind the curtain, so Annie Annie got a little uh, a little drunk, a little fucked up at the show. She was a little sh- uh, fucked up at the show, but it's just you so- took such good care of her. Yes, well, that I was, was very impressed. Well, it was so funny, and I'm not even trying to like get that, like uh, you know, like oh, you know, was, no, you took you were a good Samaritan. Then. It was just so funny the idea of we always play this thing that uh, Annie is Tukey's girlfriend and all this stuff. And I actually ended up <laughs> treating Annie like my girlfriend that night. Like I was like making sure Annie was okay. I sat right. down at the bar. I told the bartender, I was like, "Hey, whatever." You took, she wants, you took credit for her mushroom Swiss burger, though. But that was actually I got that for her. So what? we were fighting over who took care of Annie. Hold on, How hold dare on. You? Here, I gotta go back. I gotta go back to this. For, sorry, one thing. I got so many people coming up to me. I can't believe you got Annie to say "tr Annie." How did you get Annie to? Annie wrote that one. That wasn't <laughs> yeah. me. We didn't even write that for Annie. That's how Damn. cool Annie is. Annie wrote her own jokes. And uh, yeah, honestly, uh, everyone came together to really make that a uh, a great uh, uh, bit. And we're thinking of ideas for another one. But yeah, so we will we'll, we'll take those. a little longer to do another one. Yeah, we will keep doing those. We have so many bits we have to create now. We have to do straight kid stuff, guy stuff, everything, something stuff. <laughs> everything, <laughs> oh, stuff. everything just stuff. Ain't OJ stuff. stuff. OJ it, stuff. Saturday, Sunday mornings. OJ stuff. It's so funny. It's so funny. All this shit. And just like having people come up to you and like recite stupid things you did. Like, it's so like, ah, it's, it's dude, so weird. Dude, we were backstage. And again, it's, I know, Mur- okay, Revenge of the Sis, they were. Who? They're a big show. Oh, right. What I don't know how big they are, but whatever. But just we're backstage, and Mersh is talking about corn diff <laughs> for like just this <laughs> entire universe. It's like that corn diff it's weird. Guys. It's just it's it's such a strange yeah. fucking verse. We've yeah, uh, we fall people into. screaming out guy stuff, and yeah, it's just yeah. become part of the lexicon. Also, it's surreal. Yeah, it's it so- is surreal. It's also stupid. Like I did a post. <laughs> I did a post on Dabblers. Like again, obviously joking. I, I, if you guys saw it, the, uh, the WATP whack pack post. I did. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. How I said, you know, obviously they call it what I call us the prized five. Me, yeah. Carl, Lucy, Tight Pucks, Andy, producer Chris. Like we're the main. We're the we're the five employees of WATP, and then there's everyone else. Like you know, Vinny and Tuki. Yeah. And stuff, but people were like answering it like I was legitimately posting it like that. Yes, just not oh. getting uh, the gag. No, but it's great. It's yeah. It's just it's fucking. It's fun. Ahead. But yeah, I think Carl. Like I think what we've become is that it, literally though. I think we are the whack pack. I have a the picture of the whack like, pack. Carl's if you want to bring it up, pack. where's Cardiff? Take it down. Cardiff is in there. <laughs> Take it down. <laughs> But yeah, that was that's a great picture. That was all of us in an elevator, uh, heading to uh, some kind of some rooftop bar, rooftop right? bar for Marriott. But they had cl- clean shitters. That's what we were looking for. That's yes. And uh, this was the day after the show when we were hanging out in Clearwater. Rock, yep. what what gas station did you buy that t shirt at? That is not a gas station t shirt. That is a mm-hmm. lag wagon t shirt that I've worn obviously way too many times and watched way too many times. <laughs> uh, what is lag wagon? Lag wagon, uh, uh, punk band from the nineties. They're still around right. fat records. <clears throat> obviously. Avi. Duh. But yeah. Um, a lot of, uh, so what, uh, what were we looking at more? Dr. Steve Pitts. Picks? Yeah. I'll, I'll get it to come back up in a second. I was going to, I had pictures from, uh, the Saturday. Dang lizard five pounds. Thanks for or five euros. Sorry. Thanks for the straight kids stuff. It's the show the world needs to be a recruiting recurring segment. Yes, straight kids stuff will be a recurring segment 
on one of our stupid things. Uh, now I'm saying, now I'm saying, gifted <laughs> five Dabbler Network memberships. Thank you so much. What was that picture? Oh, no, uh, I would just say if we were going to talk about the next day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first thing I saw was, uh, and I have a close-up that after that, so. Oh, absolutely. But Thank you for, get to it, I'll show for you. the five uh, Bedabbler Network memberships. Kiki Loco, uh, 199 for Vaginal Flora. Vaginal Flora. Vaginal Flora. Excellent. Uh, Edgar, 199 Are you with Lorenzo Ariola? El Haribli? Oh, shit! What? Lorenzo lives in San Antonio. Oh. oh. I'm in San Antonio. Fuck. Send a message. Uh, maybe I will. We're leaving tomorrow, though, to go to Austin and then heading home. So I don't know. Even forget Joe Rogan. Fuck. Shit. I would totally like, would he, you think he would like go to lunch or something? Like, would he leave his house? I don't think so. To, he might come to a stoop. Yeah, he, he might come outside, right? Yeah, he doesn't like to go outside. No, does, yeah. he, does he take gentleman callers? Because you could just go bring him lunch. Takes, yeah. takes related callers. That yeah, he wants to fuck his cousin. Oh, <laughs> I'll dress like his cousin. I, I had one of those. <laughs> Someone give me a picture of Lorenzo's cousin, and I'll dress up like her. Chuck, you want to play? My is toilet is full of my shit. Damn. Thank you, Wendy. Thank Please you. flush it mm. or something. Franklin Sheckler, remember she needs to time. raise money to flush the toilet. The water's <laughs> been turned off. If you want to unmask, you have to do the rest of your show as Gino. It is so hot in here right now. I don't think the air conditioning is working or something. I don't know. But I did have to unmask before because I'm dying. I'm sweating my balls off. Dang lizard, you need to ask your spy if he saw a Lady K wanted poster at the skeevy pickle or whatever that crap coral bar is called. You're right. So what is going on? John discovered some graffiti that said FSJ and FKB, and he's convinced that it was Carl, right? Yeah, yeah and, and then he proceeded to give uh, the, the owner of the bar all of Carl's information, including his address. And What a him. fucking rat narc piece of shit. Yeah. Dude. Why is he? What yeah, a dick he did, no, because Vince convinced him that he did handwriting analysis. Yeah. And that's how Carl writes his S's. <laughs> I did hear that. He was I did hear him saying, like, we should uh, compare the uh, handwriting. to If someone has something that Carl wrote, it's like, get this. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, Vince is back. I did. I saw that. Well, I saw that. I think Vinny showed me that on Dabblers in the car at some po point. It was like John and Vinny are back. The price was three cores tall boys or something. <laughs> yeah. That's all it took to get Vinny and back. It, it, it's, that's uh, uh, probably a good thing to touch on too like i don't know if we're gonna get to saturday night just yet but everyone on watp lives and breathes stuttering john stuff <laughs> like they're they're not just doing it on stage it's happening 24 7 with these people we're all insane yes it is yeah yeah i walked in and uncle rico show was on a 80 inch uh like plasma <laughs> tv and everyone was gathered around the television watching this thing so you're right it, it's it, not it's not just for the show. Uh, dang lizard. Nobody can take that away a weekend away from you. That is absolutely right. They can't take this weekend away from us. Caller, you're on the air. Uh, hi, this is nothing so for Hi. <laughs> I have a, a question for the doctor. Uh, doctor, did you go to Trump University Medical School? <laughs> 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 is Ian Halpern? I don't know what that was. I don't know what that was. I'm sorry, Doctor. No, I did not. I I think that's a that they don't actually have a medical school in part of that university. Uh, yeah, Trump yeah, University right. doesn't have a medical wing. Oh no, no, I don't think so. Call no, I don't think so. Caller, you're on the air. Hi. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Doctor Steve. He's been a radio legend uh, and contributed greatly. To my entertainment throughout the years. Oh, Secondly, wow. uh, Hori Gray, uh, I would like to say thank you for bringing great radio back to the forefront. Uh, it is sadly missed, and I love that you brought it all back together for the people. Uh, Iris, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Me! I couldn't have done it without any of these guys. 
but without me it wouldn't have been able to happen so thank you very much for recognizing that uh that sir i appreciate it yes it's all about me it's fantastic but thank you and yes you're absolutely right dr steve is a living legend and uh I think that's one of the things that I really appreciated about uh, this past weekend was that I actually did get to hang out with uh, Dr. Steve more than any other trip. Yeah, like I look at the I was really looking forward to that uh, for real. <laughs> and um, it was it was just so nice to be able to just sit around the table and just tell war stories and laugh for. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. So the next day, uh, what was it? The last night, uh, Saturday night uh i'm i'm kind of skipping forward but uh everyone was gonna stay at the house and get they were gonna door dash like pizza some real shit pizza and largo and and Vinny was like i admire Vinny because i hate the situation when you're with a group of people and everyone's and you just have to go to along out. yeah and you have to go along and you're like this is easy let's just go and do whatever Vinny is like i don't give a shit what you people want to do this is what i'm doing if anyone wants to come with me you're more than welcome, but fuck you guys. I'm not getting Largo pizza. I'm going to the $30 all you can eat sushi place. Yep. And I was like, fuck yeah, let's go, Vinny. And then Dr. Steve came with us. And uh me, Dr. Steve, and Vinny went to all you can eat sushi. And uh, yeah, I'll never forget. I'll never forget that uh that meal. And uh thank you for treating us, Dr. Steve. That's not the reason I won't forget it. <laughs> but Please, just- $30. All you can eat sushi sounds horrendous, but it was a very upscale restaurant. It was. And uh, I've eaten, you know, I grew up, uh, my dad helped reindustrialize Japan after the war. And so I grew up <laughs> eating Japanese food and hanging out with uh, my Japanese friends and stuff. And I, I was eating very Japanese pussy. They, well, I was, you know, I was six, but it was. Uh, it was uh, a amazing <laughs> um, evening and the service was great. The food was fantastic. And uh, it's was. It was just such a nice, I, I have learned if you're ever with Vinny Paulino and he says, go eat with me, go, you should go with him because he, I mean, it's a good follow for a hundred percent. He was talking about, oh, sorry, 30 bucks in that area though, would be a high end restaurant. Like shit was cheap there. Like compared well, to, yeah. compared to uh, even Rochester, things were very, a lot cheaper there. Mm-hmm. Well, I, had, I went. I went to that. Uh, did I tell my Puerto Rican restaurant story? No. That night, so you guys went for sushi, but we went. I wanted to go for Puerto Rican. I went Puerto. There was a Puerto Rican restaurant like right beside our hotel. What the hell's Puerto had, Rican? It, I don't know. Beans and rice and fried pork and okay. empanadas and plantains. I mean, shit. It's just whatever. It's. But I, I was just. I was craving. I, I read the reviews on on Google. They were great. We're going here. It's like an authentic Puerto Rican place. We get there. It's so authentic. They, nobody speaks English. So <laughs> this is where Ray also gets his haircut. <laughs> yes. Give me a, give me the Ray DeVito. We sit down, we order drinks and the, the waitress is like, okay, you want to speak, uh, you okay Spanish? I'm like, no, you speak English. Like, no. I'm like, okay, well, we can point to the menu. It's fine. I've I've ordered food in a foreign country. I can order food in America. I can by pointing. I can do this. <laughs> right. So we order, you know, we order everything. Our drink, one of our drinks comes. None of the drinks ever of ever show up. One drink shows up at the table. Right. No other drinks show up. And about 45 minutes later, our waitress comes back and she's like, You're okay to wait, right? Food's gonna be one more hour. What? And I'm like, what? She goes, you're okay to wait, right? I'm like, roast no. pig. No, I'm not okay to wait. Like, she goes, but what, your food's ready. The animal? Well, she's like, you. They already made your food. What? I'm like, well, if you already made, bring it, it, bring it out. out. Right. She's like, no, but there's 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 a lot of tickets ahead of you. One more hour. And I'm like, no, I can't wait. She goes, okay, hold on, let me ask. And she leaves. She comes back like 10 minutes later. I'm like, I don't know what you're asking. Either you can't make the food or you can. It's not a hard transaction to fulfill here. And she comes back. You're like, yeah, you, you're okay to wait one hour, right? I'm like, fuck no. Just me the bill for that you. Yeah. Wow. But I was so pissed. So anyway, we went, ended up going to the sub place next door, Largo Subs. <laughs> I had I the best Philly cheesesteak of my life. It was amazing. You were starving. I don't understand what happened to the first place. I don't know. 
Why there would they? like the place wasn't packed? There was like six ta- there was the whole place had 12 tables and there were maybe six tables full. It wasn't like there wasn't Uber drives running in and out. It was just, yeah, it's horrible. Hmm. But yeah, so, uh, I never got my fried plantains. <laughs> uh, Friday, what was it? Friday night. Yeah. Hanging out at the bar. We hung out until about, God, it had to be at least till almost three o'clock. I think most of us kind of stayed there. I know you guys rolled out sometime after two or maybe before two from the bar i know you rolled out uh in your uh guido oh you thought you went back to friday well yeah i was just uh oh, I was wrapping up friday to go into saturday because i know yeah. we just kind of talked about Carter played his his uh themes <laughs> as we had a convertible mustang like any like <laughs> i should in florida cranking yeah. the card of electric theme song and it was the original cardiff theme song that he sang not the uh hair metal version so we're yeah. driving down the road with this thing blasting. <laughs> Carter full electric. Can you that imagine if that, was a, if that was a song playing when I smashed into a 52 foot trailer and killed, killed us, us all. all. Dr. Steve's dead. <laughs> the paramedics are trying to pry us out of a mangled Mustang and all they're hearing is Cardiff electric on yeah. loop. He Somebody was his first off. fan. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. Uh, yeah. Everyone stayed super late at the bar. Uh, like Dr. Sa- uh, Steve said, we did karaoke. Uh, but yeah, people people just wanted to hang out uh, as long as they could. I know a bunch of us went to Waffle House after the bar. Uh, mm-hmm. Vinny, Vinny grabbed me and was like, we're doing Waffle House. I said, sure. And then uh, I think Annie and Dylan from somewhere said, hey, can we come to Waffle House? We were like, of course. Uh, two other fans, Jake and Dylan the Red. Lucy came with us. And then we saw another listener who was already there, Cotter, who was a fantastic listener uh he was already at waffle house so we met up with him and everyone was just hanging out having a great time and uh that was the end of uh the show night uh the next day i know uh you went to a uh spring training game cardiff and i yes thank you again joey c for the hookup yes apparently joey c hooked you up with uh spring training tickets it was awesome. It was hot as fuck, but it was awesome. I walk up to Will Call. Wife. What 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 uh teams did you see? Uh I saw the New York Yankees and the Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> I walked up to the Will Call counter and I said, Joey Catalano. <laughs> Is it who? <laughs> no, they said, please step this way. That uh, bells went off, fireworks fell for. The Blue guy who used to the wash time. the socks. <laughs> Whatever, whenever Joey Joey Catalano sends someone this way, we we roll out the red carpet. They literally rolled out a red carpet for me. Joey C came through, took me to my seat right behind home wow. plate. All the players saluted me. That's fantastic. <laughs> they all sang the Card of Electric theme song. None well, of this happened. <laughs> None they, of they, this happened. They said we're not doing the national anthem today. We're doing the Card of Electric <laughs> theme song to honor. Our guest, <laughs> friend of Joey Catalano. Without him, we would have That's to jock straps. He taught us. He revolutionized jock strap cleaning in Major League Baseball. <laughs> so I had no real interest in going to a spring training game. I just wanted to hang out with my friends. Uh, I would have went. No, your poor wife. Drag her out to the. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was hot. It was, it was a hot day. I was just thinking about you sitting in the sun. But no, Vinny and I, we just wanted to uh, enjoy the day in uh, Clearwater. We wanted to try and maybe go to some some kind of Ron and Fez type deal like we were talking about earlier. Or just sit somewhere and like like how guys would sit at a mall and look at chicks. Mm-hmm. Vinny and I wanted to sit in Clearwater and look at wrestlers. We wanted to see if any old new whoever wrestlers would walk by wow um, so someone at the ron and fez uh subreddit suggested we go to a place called frenchies uh rockaway grill or something like that i think it was it called frenchies i think so yeah and uh so that's where we went and listen it's nothing special food wise it's just like a it's fine it's beach food 
Right. But I know Carl was like pissed off because I think like here's the thing. Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete. Separately, they're all three pieces of shit. But collectively, they form, I guess, a city. But during the day, it literally takes an hour to get right. from one to the other. At night, no. do it in like 20 minutes. No, it, no, that's what I thought was going to be a nightmare that day. That was a Saturday on spring break. Right. Like, so you're getting spring break, break traffic, plus you're getting Saturday traffic. Yeah. Like, you're getting all the hicks yeah. coming in for the weekend, too. Right. On a Saturday. So you were, you were in a beach. So everywhere else was fine. But as soon as you started, you get to close to the water, it was a fucking, it was a nightmare. Well, we didn't really think of that. And plus, I thought Carl was going to go to the baseball game with you. So me and Vinny were just like, oh, we're going to go there. And, uh, you know, other people are like, yeah, we'll go with you guys over out there. But I know it was like, a 40 minute to an hour ride from where we were staying. And it was like, why did we come all the way out here for fried fish or whatever? <laughs> I don't know, but at the well, that place was packed. The yeah. service was actually very good. They got food people in and out of there. It wasn't, you know, a burden to be there. Carl, uh, when we were driving there, got, um, they had roundabouts that had two lanes. If you get in that middle lane, sometimes it's hard to get out of it. And we ended up going the wrong way. So we were, but, you know, we were uh, cursing a little bit, dropped everybody off and then walk, you know, parked the car and walked. But the first thing I saw when I came up, I took a picture of it. I have that picture up there if you want. Oh, yes. This was uh, a sign. Right. This was a sign. And if you look very closely, there's there's Tukey. There's, there's Tukey. And that was the first thing I saw. And now I understand that there is now a Cardiff Electric sticker um, right under Tukey. Yes, it's in the been, same rec place. been so. rectified. It looks much better now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We'll get to the date, but... Um, well, that's the other thing. So as we're going to this place to go eat, and by the way, the food, I thought the food was great. I'm always looking for seafood when I leave Colorado. So I, the food was great to me. But as we're eating, I'm talking to them, and I realize, oh, weren't you going to do that win a date with Ju uh, Lucy thing? And they're like, oh, yeah, we're doing that today. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? Like today, today here? Right. And they're like, yeah. And I was like, wait, you're going to film a whole production here? And they're like, yeah, I think so. Was Carl was tired and he was like, I don't really want to do it. So he asked Andy if he would do it. Yeah. So, yeah. No, well, he asked uh, Vinny. I think. Vinny well, then Vinny that. kind of took over as director. And then Andy and I were sort of a ads yeah you, you were know, we, cameraman and crew but right, if we didn't go rocco the whole time is yelling landscape mode <laughs> landscape mode yes because when uh when andy was filming he was filming he was doing, right. like, i can't believe portrait. i still have to tell people this yes but if we didn't go to this bar that live in a vertical world world to grow up but what you're, would you're they... showing your colors boomer shut the hell up we do not um but Dr. Steve, if we didn't go to this beach bar, what would they have shot this date? How would they have gotten the footage for this date? Like what I would have I just I, it it what happened was um I don't they know. told a uh, band practice guy and Jerry just to show up there. So we all went and then they were they you know eventually showed up. And then yeah, and it just kind of fell together. Vinny sort of took over as the director. And then we all collaborated on uh, different uh, events that they could compete in. They had already competed, but now they had to compete for the final. They had um, nothing. The they right. Had literally nothing. We were writing it as we were going. Correct. Nothing. And Lucy all was work. delightful. She is, um, she, I did, um, uh, before we came there, the reason we were so late is that she and I did a retrospective on her show, uh, the something, something with Kaylee. I'm having a senior moment. Uh, where she does movie reviews and uh, we did 2001 a space odyssey which you can't do in just five minutes and so and then we all um, came to uh, Clearwater, and you guys were already done eating and three sheets to the wind and uh, you know we were just getting started so yeah it was a little bit of a clusterfuck in the beginning but it ended up being amazing it all worked out it was really fun putting that video together Andy is editing it tonight. My understanding is it should be out maybe this weekend. So. I'm very excited to see what this date video looks like because, yes. Yeah, I know. It was, just I know, know that before we started filming, they had absolutely no plan. And I need to address this. Thank you, WSX. $5. Bedabbler took credit 
for the mushroom Swiss burger. Let's get back to that. You had to had to have the big salad. Reminds me of a Seinfeld episode. I'm sorry. I did not know if you picked up her burger because I, I told them to put it on my tab. So if you paid for the burger, I owe you money. Doctor. Now we kind of collaborated on that. It does have, it's it's not an interesting story, but we, no, you know, I grabbed the menu and grabbed the guy, and then we both sort of collaborated on. Okay, it. I thought, but, but you I, were taking care of Annie. I, I just you. helped out. I, well, I appreciate it. either way, but I did think that they put it on my tab. So if you did c- get the burger, <laughs> who cares? Thank you. Who and cares? I'm very mad that you're buying my girlfriend. God, you guys sound like stuttering John. Nope. It's I'm, my girlfriend. I'm supposed to buy her. Are they well. done yet, OJ? <laughs> I'm, I'm just mesmerized by Lucy right now. I don't know what you're saying. So this is more behind the scenes uh, <laughs> yeah, she is a doll. of the uh, date. Yes, but I'm very curious to see what uh, that video turns out to be. But I would have been even more curious to see what that video would have turned out to be if we didn't go to the beach. Because right. I think Not that would have really sucked. Yeah. yeah. What the hell would they have done? I don't know. So, Nothing. But uh, but that was a great day. We went back to Hogan's place. Uh, Are these? Is this the size of the ice cream that you had that gave you the well, shits? I, okay. Yes. So this was part of the bit, wow. and um, there was a. I don't want to spoil it, but I told the woman. I said, "Give him a triple. You know, just keep piling it on until you can't pile it on anymore, and I'll pay extra." So she handed us these. I said, "Oh, you nailed this!" And the band practice guys, one is you know flaccid, or it's got Peroni's disease. Flaccid. Oh, so, Peroni's disease. <laughs> Peroni's disease. <laughs> That yeah. normal curvature of the penis when it's erect. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, caused by scar tissue caused by um, a fracture, micro fractures of the penis when it's bent on itself due to uh, s- only slight tumescence during intercourse. Sexy. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm tumescent right like. now. <laughs> Semi tumescence is the best. Yeah. I want full tumescence. Yes, you have to have full tumescence. If you have semi tumescence, make sure you're on top. Yes. Because if she's on top and you're semi, if you have a semi erection and she's in control, then that's going to be a, it leads to tragedy. Oh, break your dick, OJ. Yeah. Slamming down. Because it's all about it's all about her, and then she f- bends your penis in two, and then it fractures, and you're in the emergency room. And then you Steve's have a had cur- a broken dick. Yeah, right. You this have sounds a sounds like experience. Her yep. penis the rest of your life. No, I've seen it. A broken dick and a broken heart. You're right, right. Doctor Steve. They're all awful. So there you go. All the worst, aren't they? <laughs> They're all awful. No, I'm kidding. Uh, Yes, yeah, so please do not let the woman be in control when you have a half. <laughs> when you have whiskey dick. Nascent dick. See, I didn't know if I had anything else from that day. No, that was the last picture. And that was our last, but that was a great picture to end everything. Yep. And that yep. was uh, on our way to the bar, which then we didn't spend too much time there because then we realized, ah, we're just going to go back uh, to the Airbnb. Uh, Cardiff uh, was going to meet us there. And uh, we did. We ended the whole trip with all of us just hanging out at the Airbnb, just, you know, bullshitting, telling stories, joking, trying to make everyone trying to make everyone else laugh. And uh, it was a really good time. Yeah, I think Carl at one point is like should have recording was. this. Yes, should have been a show. we should have. We definitely <laughs> should have had a, at least an audio recorder in the middle of the room and had a recorder. If we had, we wouldn't have been able to tell some of the war stories that well, we yeah from. i'm sort yeah. of glad that and and then people are playing to the to the recorder and just you know it was just nice being able to just sit there and not have to worry about content and just be together yeah i mean that sounds sort of you know fruity but uh be together and just you know just enjoy each other's company and there isn't a person in this group that I'm like, Ugh, you know, I, I wish they would sit over there or that I wish they weren't here. There's not a single one mm-hmm. there. I, you know, I enjoy every single person in this group. Uh, well, you know, some, OJ wasn't there. some more slightly more than others, but for the most part, it's just a really good cohesive group of just fun people to be around. A hundred percent. Give a shit. What anybody says. Fucking assholes. That's what it is. We're all degenerate well, okay. assholes. <laughs> we're, we're all the same kind of degenerate <laughs> asshole professional bullies yes it's fantastic but no you're right dr steve it was uh 
it was great it was very organic i think we even said like this is exactly what like these guys like want like someone like john would love to just be amongst a group of people you know joking around and having a great time and uh and that's what we're doing we're doing it i feel like this whole show was uh put together just to make me feel bad for not going yes <laughs> you should because i do i wish i, I wish who, I'd said gone. who said this, that this is rub shit in oj's face episode one <laughs> oh yeah you're here that's fantastic you should have been in largo <laughs> but yeah but think about it though like so i again if 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 John didn't respond to the dabble verse the way he did, who knows if with the show would even be as big as it is now, right? Like all these characters, all the stuff. If if there wasn't a dabble verse, if that never happened, if John took his beating and took it like Eric Zane and kind of just said, yeah, you know, and, and became like a friend of the show instead of going the other way. Right. But yeah, John or could dick. have been in, in a situation. Yeah. If he wasn't a dick. No, I was could- Dick Masterson. Oh. Same sort of thing. Yeah. But no, yeah, you're right. He could have been part of this, I guess, in, in a way, if he if he played it right. Like, who? How exciting would it have been at a WATP event if the Dabbleverse didn't necessarily happen? So we never saw Stuttering John really being a sack of shit right. after for so long, and he shows up at these events, and then he was he could have had like a, a resurgence of of where people actually want like liked him mm-hmm. from this. Like WATP could have given him that if he played it right. No, you're what I'm trying to say. I reached out to Carl in the first place because I knew eventually <laughs> the eye of Sauron would uh, turn its way toward my show, and it was like I've, I'd rather you cut this off at the pass. Uh, FACP monitoring four dollars. Come on, you didn't put up my previous super chat up because it referred to Shuli. Don't do that, please. Yeah, I please haven't put up it. any super chat. Yeah, we, we we still haven't gotten to them all yet. You yeah. idiot! Stop being a Shuli cook. Why would I care about what you have to say about Shuli? Shuli right. Cook. Yeah. Shuli <laughs> Cook. Yes, but no, I just put up that last super chat because I, I saw it and I wanted to address it because I felt bad. <laughs> that, yes, I was taking credit for Annie's Mushroom Burger when it should have been <laughs> Dr. Steve all along. <laughs> you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Let's read the super chats and get out of okay. here. Okay, I've got um, an MRI in six hours, so I've got to get out of here. But get out of here. Um, I love right. hanging out with you. It's great You're hanging with talk. you again. Your broken penis? Are you getting an MRI? Yes. Um, someday I'll tell you the story where I had to get an MRI on my finger, and it was the most unbelievably uh, excruciating <laughs> forty-five minutes of my life. So it is so unnecessary. But uh, no, tomorrow I'm. It doesn't really matter. Nobody cares. But I'm having an MRI of a different part of my body. That's also curved yes. in a, in an incorrect way. So, Uh-oh. Are you okay? all right, yeah, yeah, I guess. Okay, oh, no, all right. I love you, <laughs> Dr. Steve. It's always a pleasure. All right, thanks, OJ. You got to come to the next one, my friend. You were absolutely missed. Way to answer this question, Dr. Steve: Is a woman squirt urine or not? Oh no, shit! I can do Let's forty-five minutes hour. on this. <laughs> no I'm kidding. All right, we know no, it's it's. Yes, some women have. I'll give you the short answer. And if you go to my website and just put in uh, female ejaculation in the search bar, I wrote a big long article about it. And we did this study at on uh, Anthony Cumia show one day where he had a woman that squirts and we tested it for prosthetic specific antigen. But some women have female ejaculation, which is a white, whitish, milky fluid. Ew. See, it's come. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Proven by a doctor, it's come. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Yeah, put him right back up. <laughs> Asshole. Goodbye, Dr. Steve. Good luck. Right. And then some women have coital incontinence, which is urine, but it's not really urine. No, it's come. We'll, we'll talk about it. It's come. Okay. We'll answer this next time. That's a, a teaser for next time I'm on. Fantastic. We we thank you, it. my friends. Thank you. All right. Be good. By the vaginal floor. I actually, <laughs> one of my first uh, calls to WATP was was that exact question, and got a whole debate started for weeks on the show when I was just a caller. Really? Nice. Yeah. Oh, we had to find that call. I did a lot of calls. JT's found a couple of my calls. <clears throat>
uh all right where are we oh that one was dr steve can you send me a picture of your kids that way the trolls won't be able to trick me in they avatars no dr steve is not sending you any pictures of kids why is he still here i thought you had to go i am i'm just shutting my shit down <laughs> <I'm just> watching. <laughs> I'm like, he's watching the show backstage now post show jack off wait uh dr. Right. Steve. Yes. dr steve can say uh, how much I'm not okay i'm sorry man. dr steve can say how much for the little boy in seven <laughs> different languages i don't believe that that's not true but i can say what's that in your nose in several languages so oh, okay. urdu nakachoha in um uh romanian Chetza. thanks dr steve <laughs> <laughs> he knows romanian oh, okay. you know romanian <laughs> Yeah, here it is in Tagalog. Anong nakasabatsa longmo. So there you go. <laughs> and what and what country speaks that? Oh, Philippine, the Philippines. Oh, sorry. Well, yeah, the Philippines. Yes, correct. All right. He okay. was gonna oh, yeah, say gonna... something stupid. Dr. I was. Steve, you ruined it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> ruined it. All right. Goodbye, Dr. Steve. Bye, Dr. Steve. We love Dr. Steve. We All do. right. Let's catch up. Uh let's wherever we are. <laughs> I'm passing out. I'm going to pass out. Why do I wear the stupid mask, Bill? Can I, Why do you travel with the stupid mask? Can I be done? Well, I never know when things are going to pop up like this. Oh, tomorrow, Tuki live from Bucky's. I don't know what we're doing. It's Bucky's? Coming, yes, from Bucky's, the giant gas station place. Oh. Uh, yeah. The, like the truck stop thing. Yeah, the truck stop. Ugh. All right. Disgusting. Uh, Zach Holland, so if you can read the back of this shirt, Stuttering John fell off. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah, the guy <laughs> riding the bus. That's a good shirt. I like that. If you could read this shirt, John, Stuttering John fell off. <laughs> That's really funny. All right. That's a good one. Dusty Settle, $2. Is the new Tukey suit green or red? No, it's green. It's a shitty green. It's exactly like Joey C's velour suit. Yeah, it's not a suit. It's more like pajamas. Sure, you don't get it wet. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna disintegrate. Ordo Monstrum, five dollars. Thank you, Ordo Monstrum, for coming to the show. It was great awesome. to hang out with him. They can never, they can never take that weekend away from you. What can they take away? Cardis Puerto Rican food. Yes. <laughs> Puerto Rican food. I like rice and beans, man. No, I know, I know, I get that. But is that considered fried pork food? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh, I think it's always like Colombian food. I guess. Chicha. I don't think Colombian foods is spicy. Chicha. Uh, JNC Stat Daddy gifted think- Ivy Dabbler Network memberships. Thank you. Think chicken nuggets, but it's made out of pork. Yes. No, I got it. <laughs> Delicious. That's what they fried are. pork. That's what all the Colombians at the Audi dealership you see. <clears throat> stat Daddy's the guy that does all the, the uh YouTube stats, right? That's John's neglected cat stat daddy. Oh, that's what the J and C stands for. There we yeah. go. Yeah, there it is. Okay, Thank yeah. You. Thank you. I thought it was Joey Noga C. Isn't that isn't that isn't that a uh conflict of interest though? If he's donating to the shows that now, I guess it's not. I don't know. No, because he doesn't do the he doesn't count the memberships, right? Oh yeah, that's right. None of these memberships go towards the goal. God damn it, Wes Eleven Bravo member for five months. Doctor Steve W Nine Y Y H equals me. Hope to meet you all someday. We hope to meet you as well, Wes. Come out to one of these live shows. I think he just gave Doctor Steve his his ham radio. Oh, okay, I got you. Mensa International, would you prefer Hogan semen in your mouth or butt? (laughs) Butt. Really? Yeah. Why? You want it in your mouth? I don't want that in my mouth. I want it in my butt. I feel like see it. Yeah, but I feel like in your butt. Didn't Bubba the Love Sponge show it to us? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, still the butt. All right. right. I get. I don't know. There's no right answer here. Like, why wouldn't you? Why would you care if it was in your butt? Because it would hurt. No, wouldn't I, it? Yeah, I guess it's got to be put there somehow. 
but it would taste gross. You know what I mean? Can you shout my girlfriend, Bell Tis Busted? <laughs> okay, like Rolling Stone, $2. Can you shout out my girlfriend, Bell Tis Busted? Hello, Bell Tis Busted. Bell Tis Busted. A tragic name for a young lady. <laughs> You son of a bitch. Yeah, your girlfriend has an ugly name. Uh, probably made fun of in school. John's ready whip cam, $2. Need you guys back in Detroit so I can meet you all. Yes, definitely. Uh, I'm sure there will be another Detroit thing somewhere it, down the line. It almost seemed like it was an annual event. That's that's a short drive for me, so I'll, I don't I'll, know. I'll go to whatever uh, Detroit event pops back OJ. up. I want you to take a long drive on a short pier, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, brother. Wait, because that, yeah, that was the second time that WATP was in Detroit. Yeah, I think okay. they, I think they, and it was around. I thought it was around the same time the year before. There, we, there you go. Maybe we'll be back in Detroit. Franklin Sheckler, no one wants to hear my story, Doctor E or Steve. Yes. Oh, no one cares about my stupid story. <laughs> yes, we do. We want to hear about all your stories. Okay, hold on, Annie. Which one? Which one is super? Which one is more gay? One of those answers is super gay. I don't know what answers. Ass or the mouth? <laughs> which is oh. oh, the ass or the mouth? The mouth. Tell him. I don't it. know. I don't mm. know. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a tough one because in the mouth you got you're gonna have to taste it. Yeah, ass, you're gonna have to feel it. Yes. I need to keep going before I pass out. I hate you. Uh, Franklin Sheckler, it looks like you told Ray to make a Tukey suit. Someone actually said that. Uh, oh, I can't remember, but they said that the suit looks like uh, Tukey before it got Ray's magical cum or something. <laughs> it's true, though. It looks like it's missing that special ingredient of Ray's magical cum to Ray. Really To really bring it alive. I guess we know what the secret word is. Cum? Well, I guess the secret phrase. Or Ray. Ray's dumb cum. Magic. Ah! I thought I was going to have a little break. Uh, ah! I hate you. I hate you. Shocking. <laughs> Member for seven months. Congratulations on the Chernobyl Tukey costume. Thank you. It's definitely the GoBots version of Tukey. It's definitely... Uh, yeah, it's the gas station toys. Yeah, it's the gas station Tukey. It's like, it's like when your mom says, we have Tukey at home. You don't need to go out and get oh, Tukey. Shit. Ugh. I guess... Yeah, see? I, I yeah, guess the mouth Annie is more says, gay. Annie says, come in mouth is F slur type energy. I told you. Wow. Well, Cardiff already knows what it tastes like, so call me. Oh yeah, that's right. He gets excited. <laughs> yeah, you're biased. I guess you won this one, Tookster. What do you know? You're biased. Uh, Nimrob, two dollars. Thank you. It's like if Jake Hudson and Tukey had a baby. Yes, my Tukey costume is quite depressing. In comparison. Uh, Doctor Steve is a woman squirt urine or oh, not? Yeah. Yes. Was. Tukey suit's going to be hot as fuck. Get a fan set up. No, I agree. It is going to be hot as fuck, but I won't be wearing it. So <laughs> multiple people can be wearing it. I, it's going to be, oh, that suit's not going to make it past Las Vegas. Just sell it, just sell it to a Puerto Rican guy on the strip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make money on this when I leave. <laughs> they could, they could make money. Luis Ortiz, $2. I don't know. I don't know about that. All right, Cardiff. I'm looking. I'm looking. Too many pages. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> OJ preview page two in orange. FACP monitoring. Oh, this must be the big. Oh, get this one down. Get it off. Get oh, it off. Take a picture. Oh. Take a picture of it. <laughs> We're not guys. I know that we can't comment on Shuli's extremely high viewers. One point five thousand average. Ha ha ha. But are any of you guys going there to their show tomorrow? Uh, where's their show tomorrow? Is that or governors or something? <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, so, I, I really first time hearing about it. 
I'm in San Antonio, so no. Unless they're playing in Austin tomorrow, I will not be uh, at Shuley's thing. They could be at the the mothership. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm thinking about going there and just having uh, Tukey, uh Oh, maybe I'll see Corey Adam. Oh, Is it Corey? oh yeah, Corey Adam. Let's meet up. Let's meet up at uh, the mothership or whatever. American Cupcake member for five months. What color tracksuit will Joey have at Hackamania? Baby blue. <laughs> Is he I'm going to Hackamania? He was offered free tickets to the show. But That's, he's got to get there. He still has to get there, and he has to get a room. But he, I think he said that they're going to try and make it happen. But mm. did anyone else notice that Joey's been wearing that tracksuit like literally every day now? Is no. he? Yes. He wore it the other day. He had some girl on who I think was in jail or something. He was doing some stream for four people. Joey, no one cares about these people who have been in jail. Just walk around your town and be an idiot. And that's all we want to see. Like you're doing good. You're really you are doing good, Joey. You know how you're always like, you guys are always telling me how talented I am and how great I am. Uncle Vinny's comedy club, I found. (laughs) Did you see Joey barking at a dog the other day? That's in Point Pleasant. Uh, I saw. I don't. See, I don't think I saw him barking at a dog, but I saw him threaten to castrate a dog. Was yeah, that he barked at it right before he threatened it. Yeah, it's funny. I think I missed that, but uh, hey, he's got to show his dominance. So was, yeah. was, Uncle Vinny's not Vinny Favalli. Not Vinny Favalli. Uh, Vinny, um, the guy who's yeah daughter anthony was no with. stress factory stress fact that's stress factory okay no uncle vinny's is in point pleasant right yeah point pleasant yeah no stress factories in like uh new brunswick or whatever oh, okay. but no totally different but i do believe that isn't kevin brennan banned from uncle vinny's or something he should be i do believe that uh so that's where the shuley guys are gonna be yeah tomorrow uh tomorrow night tomorrow or tonight i guess tonight now it's after midnight so tonight oh fantastic yes. uh keith j 73 thank you for the 99 cent super sticker uh no i had no idea that there even was a shuli st- uh show tomorrow john's earmites member for 10 months wow we've been best friends for 10 months wow that is incredible i like that thank you for being my best friend john's earmite and then levittown on saturday the shuli tour Shuley tour levittown the levittown the levittown the governors of levittown wow get your tickets now at bsshowlive.com yes i wonder if the parking will be all right will there be ducks and we'll levy's park. levy's announced the show at posters whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Well, yeah yeah what is this crap levy's Why lie he playing why is Levy playing Rochester in July if we're doing what's you gonna call it in August? It's a pre. Don't I do I have to book warming up car comedy at the yeah, car? But in all fairness, the August thing has wasn't set yet when he That's booked true. that. I'm sure. That's I true. find that to be a conflict of interest. I think that is going to uh, hurt DabbleCon two si- ticket sales. Very possibly. Very possibly. No, I think I think. Do Levy's played there before. <laughs> yeah, Levy's played the club before. I think he's just doing a just regular stand. What what stand ups do occasionally is they do stand up. Rocco. They don't just yell into the computer at their house while no. their wife and kids go and do something for two hours. Sometimes they get up on a stage and make people laugh. I mean, oh. it's all crowd work, obviously. Because that's all he does is crowd work. That's what I've learned from Stuttering John Lennon. Wait a minute. I was always told that stand-up comedians live in one-bedroom apartments and yell at their laptop for other people to stop doing podcasts. And that's what a stand-up comedian is now. No. No. No? That's, that's Kevin Brennan. And possibly Ray DeVito in a couple of years. Well, no, that was Chad Zumach. That oh, second the first one was Kevin Brennan. But oh, the God. second example was Chad so Zumach. Confusing. It's so very cool. hard. I know. Well, you know, there's so many different styles of comedy. You know, you could be a prop comic or a live streaming from your kitchen type mm-hmm. comic. Mm-hmm. Or from your mom's kitchen, too. Or from your Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Miles away, hundreds of miles away from home. Hoagie Boy, member for nine months. 
Can't wait for next Detroit show. Ray loves babies. Wow, that's another another uh, call out for a Detroit show. BYB podcast two dollars. Read this super chat. There you go. Thank you. Why would we not have read that Shuli one? By the way, what was so bad? About I, don't, I don't know. OJ is an OJ uh, Shuli cock. Peter Sky Parker member for eight months. Don't read BYB podcast super chat. Ah shit. Sorry. I- I will have to say, I have to say, before they go up, I have to say, all the debate around Shuli's views, the views he gets on an Uncle Rico show are pretty equivalent. Like, I know Carl's not buying views, right? So when, you. You're so, I didn't you see me wink? I said, we know yeah. Carl's not buying views, right? Is that what he said? Is that what he wants us to say? Yes. Yes. No. Where he's not, buy, not buying views. He's yeah. not, not buying views. Yes. But when he does a John show, pub, like a, an all John show, like Point Dabble Point or an emergency episode, it's the same kind of numbers. Right. So like, I believe a John themed show can sustain 1,500 viewers. You see what I'm saying? No. Okay. It's every show. It's always the same. No, they don't get that on BS show, do they? I think so. I think it's only when they do a John show that they get the big like the big numbers. I don't think BS does does that. I can't imagine anyone wasting their money buying viewers for this garbage. Like I couldn't what? possibly imagine doing that. Well, if he's okay, what if he was only doing it to fucking piss Kevin off? Then isn't it worth it? I like to think Julie respects money more than to spend money to try and impress people is, with Shuli is a Shuli. Right? You know what I mean? Like Maybe he makes the producer Phil, producer Joe, take it out of his pay. He goes, I'll, I'll let you buy yeah, viewers, yeah, but you yeah. have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that I would believe. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. All right. I do think they're doing that. And producer Joe is just like, I'm just happy to be on the team. <laughs> He's fine with this. So. <laughs> uh, don't read BYB Podcast Super Chat. I'm sorry, Peter Sky Parker. I don't read these before they go up. BYP podcast read this super chat ignore peter sky parker again i'm sorry guys but i don't read these before they go up you know what i'm saying peter sky parker again sorry quad i hope they read your super chats yes we read everybody's super chats unless they're about shuli do not put us by shuli super chat i will not read it hoagie boy two dollars but for real ray loves babies hashtag hashtag pedo alert wow is that a new what is going on with Ray? I don't know. I heard he hit some boy on a skateboard with his car. <laughs> I've not heard, yeah. I have not heard from Ray in a while. Stevie Lou is gone now. What is happening? What is happening to my hack bird? Yeah, I don't know. Stevie Lou just disappeared this morning, YouTube and Twitter. So there's he must have taken it down himself. Like he you don't monetize, right? No, that was a new a new it channel. Was, it was relatively new. He might have been like almost. He yeah. might have been almost back to monetization. He got nuked for something, but why? why would his Twitter go down at the same time? Right. Where is he? Like, what is he? He's not going anywhere. Right? Text me, Stevie Lou. You have my number. Yeah, Stevie Lou. What's going on? Did he call Kate in? Meany? You know, is he going to quit and Do come anal? back? Oh, that too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sorry for people who are calling in, but uh, I think we're done with phone. How stupid. uh byb podcast read this super chat and it's squashed psp hashtag fsl Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. f stevie lou there you go yes f stevie lou uh all right i am hawk ten dollars for beaver nuggets and special mountain dew only available on fountain well really i guess at bucky's on fountain wall so the so, so the machine you got to go to the machine for a special fountain do uh, all right I'll take fountain it do, mountain do. a fountain do we will fountain be getting do. beaver nuggets i do know that i remember those being really good but uh thank you ian hawk yes we'll do a uh was that fish nuggets i don't know what they are they're just like they're almost like uh corn pops but better like i don't oh, know so they're like, so they're like hush puppies May kind of I don't know you'll see tomorrow. We're gonna do uh Tukey live from uh Bucky at some point tomorrow. You'll be you'll be you'll truly be in your 
in your zone. Yes. <laughs> streaming from a gas station. Yes. I'll be streaming <laughs> from a gas station with a buying, pub. Buying food and clothes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Look at all this food. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Never need another shirt again. Yes. It's where I do all my clothes, clothes shopping. Uh, Hoagie Boy, $2. Ray said Copper Tone ad baby was sex. <laughs> what? Fucking ass off. Did he really? Wow. Hey, that guy, hey, it's kind of erotic. You know? <laughs> it's like, what is it? <laughs> oh, Ray. Never change. Is that it? That's it, yeah. Oh, Please. fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for uh, your generosity and uh, for hanging out with us. I'm sorry that uh, I wasn't able to do a show uh, quicker, but the second uh, I got back from Largo, I had to get back on the road. Uh, my little brother is now an official airman of the uh, United States Air Force. So we had to come down to San Francisco and come uh, celebrate that with him. Hold, hold on. They have that don't ask, don't tell policy, right? Yes, yes. Okay, good. I told him, I was like, listen, one of my enemies, Stuttering John, is wishing with all his might that you're going to suck a dick. <laughs> Do your best to try and not. But if you must, I understand. This is beyond your control. You have been cursed by Stuttering John. He wants me to be as miserable as he is. And the only way he could figure out to do that was to hope and pray that you suck another man's dick. And 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 those spells that he wishes are more effective at zero gravity. So watch the watch the spinning around in the airplane, all right? So I did. I gave him the heads up. I was like, you know, I don't know how you've been feeling lately, but you might have been getting some urges or feelings that you aren't used to. And this is perfectly normal because there is a drunk retard across the country hoping and praying with all his might that you will pull your pants down and take a wiener in your butt. No, no, in the mouth. We've learned in the mouth is gayer. In your butt, yeah, in your mouth. In your mouth. Thank you, Annie. But let me say, no, all jokes aside, that's pretty cool. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Yes, I'm very proud of him. Uh, we're all very proud of him. So uh, we had to come down here and help him celebrate. And uh, yes, I've been eating my way through the uh, southern part of the country. I've eaten so much barbecue in the last couple of days. Tyler's Barbecue in Amarillo, Texas <laughs> might be the best barbecue I've ever had in my life. If you are in Amarillo or you're going through Amarillo, go to Tyler's Barbecue. It is fantastic. Fuck the Big Texan. The Big Texan is that place where if you eat the 72-ounce steak, you get it for free. Fuck that bullshit. Don't go there. Go to Tyler's Barbecue. This is not a paid sponsorship. I just, uh, we had it the other day, and it was fantastic. Speaking of which, if you see a Burger Boy in Texas, avoid it. It's garbage. Burger Boy stinks. We already have what a burger. I don't know what it is with Texas and thinking putting mustard on a cheeseburger all of a sudden makes it some fucking new invention. But no one gives a shit. Is the mustard on the cheese side or on the other side? It's everywhere. I don't know. They just lather it up with mustard. But Burger Boy, you stink. You were better when you just called yourself what a burger. But even what a burger stinks. So that's what I'm going to say. And I really do wish I remember that Lorenzo lived in uh, San Antonio because I at least would have reached out. And I'm really mad at myself for not remembering that. I'm mad at you. You didn't say anything when I said I was going to San Antonio. I was going to surprise you. <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, I'm surprised. A part, thank you for the $2. Is two guys and a girl gay or not? That's the devil's threesome. Isn't that what they call it? Yes, it's gay. Is it? Right? You stay on separate ends? I think so. What? Oh, hold on. What if there's a sheet? Did you say separate end? <laughs> what if there's a sheet? Yeah, you put a curtain in between <laughs> you two. The black people. <clears throat> like, what if one's in the bathtub? She's le She's over the bathtub. Like a sitem. And then you close the curtain, so neither guy sees the other guy. No, that's you not. You just respond to his rhythm with your thrusts, so you're moving the woman in the same. <laughs> yes. It's gay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's gay. Okay. Because you're in sexual rhythm with another man. That's gay. I got it. 
I am Hawk. $5. You could go to Stevie Lou's BBW in Texas as well. Hmm. This big, beautiful woman. Hmm. Is Stevie Lou's wife big? I don't no, know. I don't think so. I, I remember the picture stuttering John was flowing, throwing around. No. Oh, I don't I didn't see. I didn't see any of those pictures. I have not seen pictures of Stevie Lou. Uh significant other or anything like that Weeks ago. not that John's i care moved. John's moved on. i'm just trying to understand the super chat john's insane john's inside insane john's what else is going on seriously i haven't been listening like since i heard melton went off on brennan today is that he's always kind of going off on brennan. thursday i guess yeah yeah he's always going off on all of them what was in the box did we ever find out what was in the box what box? Melton's box. Oh, Melton's box. No, I think he said Monday. Did he say Monday he was going to announce what was that, in the box? Teasing radio cuck. Because <laughs> he did. He announced on Twitter that he was going to go on Crazy. today and show us what was in the box. Hack. Oh, was it supposed to be today? I thought he said Monday, but maybe that was the John stuff. I was thinking Monday. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with us get some sleep um i don't know when the next show will be oh no uh maybe sometime on saturday but not the saturday morning maybe we'll try and do saturday night or maybe we'll do something during the day on sunday but either way no uh saturday morning show i know that um so i don't know the next time you'll see us but uh go check out cardiff electric patreon.com slash cardiff electric cardiff electric on youtube Cardiff elect on Twitter at obnoxious John obnoxious John. Are you doing a show this Sunday? Um, I guess it all depends on how late we go Saturday. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we might not even do anything Saturday. Like I have a lot of driving ahead of me, so I'm not sure. Uh, John Melendez's mom can suck my dick. Oh no, take that down. That's we can't have that. That's not nice. Uh, I don't okay. read these. I That's read horrible. Yep. OJ, stop unclicking while I click. Stop that, OJ. Oh, OJ, hey, we got to... OJ, stop. <laughs> oh, hey, Cardiff. That is fantastic. Yeah, so we'll try. Uh, we'll let. I'll let you know. Look on Twitter. I always keep people updated on that. But uh, and it's also possible we won't do a show this uh, weekend. I don't know. But I feel like I finally got all of Largo out. Uh, we got to talk about all of that. And uh, now we get ready for Hackamania. Hackamania.com for your tickets. I think Dr. C was saying the tickets went down a little bit. That's yeah. what he said. <clears throat> I didn't hear that. That's not good. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I guess so. I guess so. I don't know what he's talking about. Dr. C is an insane person. He is an insane person, but, but that's why we love him. But happy Easter, everybody. Yes, happy Easter. Even to the Shulies. I'm going to try and make lard bread this weekend. <laughs> Have you ever had lard bread? No. It's like prosciutto bread. They put like little chunks of prosciutto are all in the bread. I think it has other names, but lard. It does. My uncle makes that. I, I can't think of it. Oh, is it like really cheesy head. and eggy? And no, uh, that's uh, that's pizza gain. Yeah. Pizza. It's almost like a pie, like a quiche <sighs> kind of deal. Pizza. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's pizza gain. But no, lard bread is literally bread with chunks of prosciutto baked into it. I don't know. I thought you'd be more excited. I thought you would know what that was. Oh, I've never. Yeah, heard of it's it. a, it's also just called prosciutto bread. Prosciutto bread. Yeah. yeah. We put the hey. prosciutto in the bread, not in yeah. the bread. Yes. Well, you put it in the bread and in the bread. Yes. All right, everybody. Yeah, go uh, celebrate Jesus and all that stuff. Belial Bradley, five dollars. Joyous Paques, Joyous Pasqua, Paque. What happy Easter. Oh, happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter. Look at you. You're so smart. I speak 15 languages like Dr. Steve. I can order young boys in 15 languages, just like Dr. He taught me all of them. <laughs> He's so fucking funny. Like watching old. him talk to uber drivers and then when the uber driver was like a female uh he's so he's so flirty he's so funny <laughs> i love him and meanwhile me and Vinny are in the back going oh grandpa you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> so fun, fun i really did i had the time of my life thank you guys 
for uh, accepting me and allowing me to uh, play your adult bullying games with you all. You're welcome. I appreciate it. And again, thank you all for listening. Thank you for uh, super chats, gifted memberships, buying memberships, all that stuff. And remember, as always, John's mom's box. Sit, Eugene, sit. Good dog. What about the company? Oh, what? Oh, we don't do that anymore. Oh, you want the company? Oh, no. <laughs> I, miss, I, can't, I can't go to sleep without it. I miss the always be dabbling. Oh. All right, are we going back to always be dabbling? I think, I think we should go back to that. End All the right. show already, losers. John's mom's box. And remember, always be dabbling. <laughs> oh, wrong way. There's only two ways you can go. He's going to do it again. <laughs> it, is, it is hard. John's right. <laughs> oh. End the show. He's hard. All right. Oh, I love you all more than a friend.